Boink. Boink. Delayed boink. Delayed boinks are best boinks. And... Revised boink. Okay. And then we just gotta drop back into this channel and then I should be good to go. Alrighty. Welcome everybody. Um, so we have got a few different players on the call with us today and I'm stalling right now because introducing them right now means that in like two minutes I'm going to have like 50 people in the chat who don't know who they are. Um, so for now, I think I'm actually just going to eat a piece of chocolate uh, and and say hi to people. So, um, I don't know what is in this one, and I guess we'll find out if I like it. Hey. Mm. It's got some salted caramel in it, which actually goes really well with the... It was a little bit darker of chocolate than I usually like, but... I think it takes the the bitterness out of it a little bit. That was a good one. That was a good one. Mm. So Nexalation got first because they're a cheater and they're in the call with us. Um, <laughs> so they were probably in the chat even before the stream went live. Uh, and then we've got Octo Ari, who we are going to be having a Metafy lesson for later on. And Fia, uh, who's been a longtime friend of the stream and even, you know, on my personal stream and stuff. Um, just a, a general, gen general squid friend. Friend. Good, Hi. good, hey. good, good squid person. Yes. <laughs> Yay, squid friends. Um... I got a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Jonathan Alack. Hello, I'm from the Discord, and I was going to send you all that stuff. Are you going to be free to call? Are you going to be busy this stream? Um, oh, 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 okay, I understand. Um, I am going to be busy for now, uh, but feel free to send me messages. I'll, I'll get back to the messages as soon as I'm available to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I was definitely going to be streaming today, so sorry about that. Uh, okay. Uh, hello to Arak and Anai and Zucchini and Licky Slurp and Yasaruni um, and Fish Virus and Chocolatu and Ethan and Silver Shadow. I'm skipping over duplicates. I apologize if I miss someone because of that, if I just like skip over your name. Uh, and Bubba V and Poe B and A Break World Archives and Lucas Ran. And 370Z and Pixel Kate and Ari, who is who is here. Hi, Ari. Uh, <laughs> and Cameron K and Yamato Beats and SML Bear and Roomba. Did I watch SAC off season? No, I did not. Um, so I don't know what the news is there. I'll have to catch back up with uh, the popcast later. Um, and hello, Cosmic and Kerbo. Can I just say that I'm incredibly honored that you remember my username just from my YouTube? <laughs> just from your, oh, from your, like, your YouTube comment? Was that where yeah. it was originally? Yeah. Gotcha. It was your mac and cheese stream. <laughs> Gotcha. It's always something something like that where I'm like, wait, was that really it? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, it's it's easy to remember when you pay me money for a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So to get remembered, I need to pay. Okay. All right. See, that, that, that's right. the trick, kids. Bribery will get you everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I do appreciate the, uh, the, the positivity and support you've given. Um, and hello, Heavenly Cole and Hero. You have to change your name to sw Swim School legally. Make me. Make me, coppers. And uh, Splatoni and Mr. Taco and Roy Ng. 
uh, Magnesium, MG, I don't know. Um, and Vevev and Queen Zyria and Annie. And Jamie, hello, hello. And that's uh, everybody knew who has said hi so far. So hello. And Ninton Donuts. Oh, hey, I get it. I get it. That, that, that's cute. I like that. Okay. So now that we've got all of those out of the way, really quickly, I just needed to draw your attention to something else that exists and is wonderful. Um, I'm going to show you 10 seconds of this video, and that should probably convince all of you that you need to just, like, take all of the time that we are spending on, like, getting into the stream lobby and stuff to go and watch this video, okay? This is, uh, Octoboy made a montage, a community montage. They posted on Twitter recently asking for clips by just anybody in the community who had a replay code for them. And he's got a mod for the game that lets him go in and do cinematic film editing, basically, with these different camera angles that they have available now and uh, all sorts of other stuff. And so they synced this up to music and it is so sick. J just check this out. That's all that I should need to show you to, for you to know that you need to go and watch this thing. Okay, so I, I'm going to put the link to this in the chat right now. We're going to go and work on getting a uh, Anarchy Open lobby open. But if you have not seen that, go and click on this link right now and go watch it. Give it give, give it your, your, your numbers, your YouTube, your, your likes, your internet points, your comments, and, and, and all of that stuff. Because uh, this is sick and I want to see so, so much more content like this. Um, so... Go check that out, and in the meantime, guys, I am going to send you guys passwords um, to the lobby. Uh, hopefully, it's all the same password, and I'll get it right. Um, and uh, we'll put up a password guardian real quick and get that going. Okay, you guys should all have the pass. Wow, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's you? I, I know, right, guys? Like, you've got Nintendo ads are like, splat, 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 splat. And then you've got this stuff that the community is making. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah, at some point, you, you've got to think they are going to, like, hit them with a cease and desist. You know, that's that's the Nintendo way for, for them to be. That's definitely a thing they would do. Oh no, if someone guessed the password, it's 3333. Oh no. Oh no. Now it's gonna get raided. <laughs> you're a kid now, you're a squid now, you're a. <laughs> you're a kid, exactly. you're a squid. <laughs> cat, why is there a cat? Because the cat is guarding the password from, from any evildoers who would invade. Cats are very important in the Splatoon series, don't you know? Um, actually, they're octopi, so you're not necessarily a squid now. <laughs> squid was so catchy. Yeah, it rhymes with kid, unlike octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can think of a word that rhymes with octopus. <laughs> It would probably take multiple words to pull something off like that. Yeah, probably. Alrighty. Oh, it's Rainmaker. I probably should have gone to the, the shield a little quicker. I'm down to the brush on the right. Right underneath Fia. Got it, Yink. Got it. Nice shot. <laughs> oh. I'm coming, Ari. Alright. Let's get him. Thank you. 
That's one down. There's another yeah. one behind. Two. Got another one. They grabbed. They're down. No, they're not down. Now they're down. one in front of you. Careful. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't oh, get him out of the way. Oh, that's so close. Uh, Brush is going far right. One on left, got him. That's two down. Brush on me. Brush weak. Ah, oh, I didn't get him. My bad, I didn't aim super well. Oh, you got this? Oh, that's right. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, they're gonna... Nice I pick, nice pick. Just paint behind you if you need it. I'm contesting pop here. There you go. Nice. Dooley's oh, in the left uh, side. Uh, nice shots, Fia. Got one with the bomb. Nice. Where? Uh, right. They're going to their pedestal. Ah, that's a booyah. Backing up. One in top mid, top mid. They're in the back now. Got him. Another one on me. Second brush. Oh. Oh, there I you go. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's get this over to the far right. There's a dualies. Got him. Brush in the way. We got them too. Just one more brush. Got eyes on the brush. Nice. Dualies are spawning in. They're at the pillows now. One top right. I'm just going to pick this up and get a few more points. Yep. Or a lot more points? Right. Where is everybody? Behind you. They're all in the mid. Okay. Well, uh, that's a push to four. <laughs> all right. You take those. Stay back. Yeah, good stuff. I'm into this uh, beacon here. Oh, they're booyah bombing. I've got a bomb booyah on bombing. the booyah. It's not going to kill him, but... Got one. Brush on me. Got him. They dropped out top left. Nice. Just uh, Google's. Google's on my ouch. Google's on my ouch. Okay. They're weak. Nice. Good shots. One on the pedestal. Dropping. In mid. Heading once. They're coming to Ari. No, they're just running around in a circle. Got him. They're pushing. Oh, there you go. They were scared by the incredibly short range of my duels. <laughs> Nice. Ooh. my throw. What's your favorite change from Splatoon 2 to Splatoon 3? Oh, man. Um, the existence of Anarchy Open, maybe? Oh. The fact that you can, can just play with, play with people. However many people you've got. It's probably the biggest uh, one to me. Them. Yeah. Um, another big one is squid rolling off of walls. I think that movement technique is super sick. 24-7 salmon is definitely huge for the game. It made salmon run a lot bigger than it was. Oh. Ooh. Boogers are, are coming up the ramp. One back of uh, mid. Oh. Top left. Not the top left, uh, just oh. the left side. Zip caster. Hey, zip Got him. Somebody's on our pedestal, fresh. Well, there's three in front. I'm down. Uh, oh, oh, it resets. Bomb, they screwed up. They could have had first pedestal for free. All right, good trade. We just need to stop a push to four. So don't get don't get too hasty. Just throw bombs, play safe. We'll get the picks eventually. Oh man, I'm having. Brush down, but Octobrush got me. That's an interesting path. Hard to get, so. I got it, 
Yeah, what? like, they need to push really far in to be able to defend that. That does not seem optimal. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's great if, if you need to get, like, to 20 or something, but to 4? Not sure about that. It was okay for stalling, because, I mean, it took us an extra second to get to them, at least. You only play Splattershot. I play Splattershot primarily. Um, I would definitely play a lot more Blaster if it fit into team comps better. Um, that's the, the weapon I'm by far second most comfortable on right now. Jem, do you approve of our cult in Teacher Bribers? No comment. Uh, do you critique your viewers' games? Yes, that's actually going to happen uh, later on today. Um... We have a VOD review for Ari, who is playing here with us. Um, and I do that hey. on Tuesdays uh, on a regular stream that is the original namesake of Squid School. So the stream came first and then the name? Because I always wondered. That. Yes. Um, so originally the channel was called Bravest Esports. Uh, it was a company that I worked for. And... The, the original plan was that we were going to be doing uh, youth esports leagues, kind of like become the little league of esports in our area. Um, and when, uh, right about when we started getting some traction with that, COVID happened. And so we couldn't do stuff in person like we had been planning to all along. And so we pivoted. Uh, we had Switches because Switches are the easiest consoles that we've got to transport. Um, mm -hmm. And so we were looking for a bunch of other games that we could potentially use competitively. Nice. Um, one drop mid, got him. We were looking for a bunch of other Switch games that we could potentially use to like teach kids. Like, wouldn't necessarily have to be like the most esports of esports, but they could be played and taught to kids. Um, right. Um, so. The games that we got for that were ARMS, Mario Kart, and Splatoon. Uh, I ended up playing about two and a half hours of ARMS, about five hours of Mario Kart, and about a hundred hours of Splatoon. That was like, I was like, hey, wait, I really like this game. Because uh, originally I was on staff to be uh, doing Super Smash Brothers coaching. Um, I had uh, that, that and I just had experience as a tournament organizer, so that was helpful too. But, uh, ended up pivoting to Splatoon because of that experience and when COVID hit we started doing stuff on YouTube. That was a really good try strike. Good stuff. Um, nice. Um, I'm going to get rid of this weight breaker. There we go. Nice wipe. Yep. Um, so we started making a YouTube content when COVID hit because we needed something for our coaches to do with their time if they're not coaching. Like, what else are we going to pay them for, right? Um, so that was how the YouTube channel started doing, like, gaming content that was focused on players instead of being, like, an advertising vehicle for the leagues and stuff. Um, so that was when the very first Splatoon content came out, and at the time we were just doing a stream called Squid School, where I was teaching my co-workers how to play the game. Um, that was where it originally came from. And the whole VOD reviewing people aspect came up after uh, I, on a whim, decided to do a VOD review stream for the coaches, and it went over really well, surprisingly. So we kept going from there. But yeah, originally it was just the name of a stream. It was just the name of the show. And over time, uh, it became one of the only things we were doing with the channel. And... Uh, the company ended up uh, folding in June of this year. Uh, so it, when that happened, the company was like, well, we don't have any use for this YouTube channel anymore, so you can just have it. So I rebranded it to Squid School, which was a name that was already recognized and what I was going to be doing with it. Um, and now that's what it is. So there's some lore. Okay. How do I use Zipcaster? Uh, I recommend looking at Fusion's video on the Zipcaster. Um, Fusion is a higher level player than me and has been maining Splatana Stamper. Um, so their take on it is going to be significantly better than mine could be.
because even if you don't want to learn it, uh, I recommend that video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, F Fusion is also just a very entertaining player. Uh, I don't know, but uh, they definitely have a mechanical skill around my own, so if there's someone whose tag is Olmi, it's probably actually Olmi. Splatana Wiper. Alright, that's three down. Uh, we need some more. There's a couple on plat. Got one. Lutana Wiper is sharking. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna jump to you. Okay, uh, watch mid. Watch out, one coming up. Yeah, they crashing. We Got rain, I'm getting pushed by Crab. Crab is down. Aw, uh, right at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a closer game. I really wish that they had uh, the little ramp that they have on Clam Blitz here. That would make for a lot more interesting of a push route. Um, but to, to answer questions about how to reserve VOD reviews that I'm getting from chat, uh, I, I do two different... Uh, there are two options for coaching from me. One is Tuesdays. Um, I do a free VOD review for two viewers each stream on Tuesday. Um, those are reserved out until January right now, um, but that is definitely an option and it's free. And then there's also Medify, which um, that's how Ari has reserved her VOD review today. Um, and that is um, available from the list of links that Jamie has posted. Uh, in the chat, so thank you for that, Jamie. Uh, and those, um, it's $10 for a one-hour session, so um, part of that is because doing those sessions does take me away from, like, the video editing or streaming that I would normally be doing. Um, but uh, I, I hope that uh, people find that to be a fair price and uh, that that's... That doesn't, that doesn't come off too much as selling out. It, it really is just, like, something that enables me to do that, because otherwise uh, I, I'm taking time away from something that is making me money. So, that's where that's at. Oh, uh, I got a king! No! Alright. Got you later. Got a shot coming toward mid. And oh, blaster right, blaster right. Blaster just you next. Blaster down. Zuka got me. Zuka's at uh, pedestal. Oh, wave breaker. Not wave breaker. Just you, Fia. Oh, All right. Blaster down. Just leader. Where's leader? They're on. Oh, on our bats. Yeah. Got him. Best if we reset or no? Yeah, just let it reset. They're all cleared out. One on me, shot. Damn. Shot got two on right, careful. Yeah. Uh, splatter shot coming toward flat. Got them. Oh, booyah bomb. Booyah bomb. That was. Booyah bomb down to booyah bomb. Got blaster, I'm down. Two on my ouch. I'm gonna paint up some of our plat right here. Shots behind right stack. Uh, okay, shot the slash machine. E leaders drops to mid. I'm gonna try and zuka them. Got one. I couldn't get the third shot. They're in the corner, around the corner. They jump. One above, one above. Hit him twice. Got him. Okay, I have my back. Pedestal's painted. Machine's weak, didn't get him. Flasher's on top left. Watch top left, watch top left. 
Remember that you can jump from that pedestal up onto plat with it? I didn't know that. Blasters below. Oh man, I hope I'm not getting a bloody nose right now. That would be oh, unfortunate oh, timing. That's not good. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I just get those. You know, I'm jumping it's, it's a chronic it's a chronic thing. Like people get both nosebleeds oh. just for no reason. Coming up to the, the left. Yeah, I know. Blasters Ah, bad aim on my part. I should have that. They're zooking. Careful. Just next. Just next. Bombs in front if you can. Nice. Yeah, I dove in too hard. Two hundred bats. Two hundred bats. Yeah, I bomb. Nice. Alright, that'll reset. Nice. And now we got a clear plat. There's two here. Got one. Crap. Another one in front. There you go. They're gonna back up. Let's get pain in mid. Machine is, uh, is in mid now. Shots watching me left. Yeah, two on left stack. Got me. Uh, Careful there, are you alone? Oh, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The slashing machine is sharking on the tower. I guess it's what they call Oh, they do get Ooh. the Yeah, I'm down to the Zuka. Waybreaker. Got Waybreaker. <laughs> on our flat, splatter shot. Oh, on our bats, on our bats. Got him. Blaster on our ramp. Got him. Oh, that Zuka shot was actually pretty well placed. Two seconds. We need rain. Good YouTube channel for Tri-Stringer. Uh, I don't know about a YouTube channel, but um, I know Nicolini has been playing a lot of Tri-Stringer. Um, Nico was a top 500 level bamboo player in Splatoon 2. Um, and I know I learned a lot by watching them playing it on their stream. Um, I can stream on Twitch. Talk. Hey, it's Nex. Hi, Nex. Hello. Someone explain what sharking is. Sharking is hiding in squid form in your own ink. Uh, it's oh, that's the, the idea is like you're you're it, it like Jaws, the, the opening of Jaws, where there's a shark like right underneath the water, ready to hop up out and grab someone. Um, you're waiting for someone to wander too close to you before you just pop out and take them out. So like, let's say I get over into here and this player doesn't know I'm there, and then all of a sudden, ha ha, om nom nom. I am Shiver, hear me roar. <laughs> okay, Shiver fan. Isn't it Master Megalodon? Master Megalodon. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, here's a puppy. And we're going to put the uh, password back in. Same password last time? Yep. Megalodonvania. Oh no. No. Dudum. 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 That's so cursed. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my night is ruined. Um. What's your favorite support, displacement, and aggressive special in this game? Uh, support, displacement, and aggressive. So it sounds like we're using the terms that Prochara uses to sort them. Um, 
So, displacement favorite. Um, if we're talking about like what's most impactful, uh, the answer is missiles. Um, if we're talking about what I like the best, probably Booyah Bomb. I think Booyah Bomb is strong, but also has some good downsides and is well designed. Like, it feels like a special, but it also isn't something that just like wins you a fight for free, um, which is super cool. Um, for support specials, oh, what? There's like Tacticooler. What what else would count as a support special right now? Um, I guess Ink Bag. I think Ink Fact is really well designed. Bubbler? Oh yeah, Big Bubbler. It, it, it definitely Ink Fact though. Big Bubbler is a little, little overwhelming in some places. Um, it's uh, kind of one note. But uh, Ink Fact, I think, is really cool. Like it has a lot of pros and cons to it. Oh, uh, missile got me. All right, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Not the nine. They're all coming up the left. Traded. Um, I guess rain, sort of. Rain's kind of displacement as well. And then aggressive special, Inkjet. Inkjet will always I'm be the coolest special the game to me. Got the 96. Roller Sharking. Traded. Roller still right side, my ouch. Oh. Playing the 10. Nice, that's one down. And they're on tower, so they're vulnerable. Got one. Oh. Roll is hurt, uh, on right. Nautilus is on the, moving back. Got one. I'm gonna smash already. Roller Sharky on right again, Roller same down. place. Nice. Not coming up. They're on the left side of tower. Got him. Blaster, or no, Tri Stringer. Or Reflux. Uh, I nice X traded. There's a roller on tower, roller near tower. Got him. Uh, I'm jumping in. Reflux attacking tower, not as well. Not dropping left. Oh, 10, ten of missiles are on me. Uh, not on right, not on left, not on left. In mid, in mid. Nice. Got him. Roller drop right. Flat roller is moving. Roller in mid, up. roller mid on ouch. Roller coming up to our, our to right yeah, nice top. Hit. I'm down to nod on right. Uh, careful there, you're alone. Uh, that's my bad. I pushed in. Oh, Not in mid. Okay. On side mid. Got Myth, one, know, one right below me, got him. Is. The missiles are clearly the best special oh. in the game. I mean, who, who doesn't want... One jumping onto tower. Oh, I traded against One around the... tower somewhere, got him. Oh, another one jumped in. They're in, fleeing in the mid. Not, oh wow, I didn't think they could hit me from there. Not traded. That's a good angle they had. Uh, two left truck. Oh. Roller mid. Down. Be careful. Roller in the middle. Nice trade. Yep. Not on bridge. Reflex is on tower. Careful, Ari. Careful, Ari. Yeah. I'm probably dead. Rip. Ooh, nice shot. That's a flat. One left truck. In mid now. Not on mid. Not in. All right, so that's nice. a delayed wipe. Let's get some paint up. Uh, reflux top right. Watch out for where the knot pop pops up. Knots top left. Nice left truck, yeah. Not as to the left of their truck. Nice, 52 down. 
Got Reef. Not coming up the truck. Hurt. Not left side. Got him. They're down, nice. Roller on their plat, just... Trucking, I think. Got him. Got another? Nice, Jesus. Not hurt. Got two. Keep, keep applying pressure forward. One more, one more, nice! Put us down. Good stuff. Nice. Clean. I like the variety of poses we have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I saw uh, a tweet today that I don't think I can possibly agree with more. Uh, it was a clip from Pop Gun, and uh, there were three members on his team that were dabbing, and then he was the only one on the team who had no chill on instead. And he said, in a world of dabs, be bold enough to no chill. <laughs> that is that is my essence right there that is who i am as a person i wish you were able to get the 100x spot fest uh the 100x spot fest victory pose oh that would be nice the chicken dance oh it looks like a uh, low, low voltage i'm assuming that's someone we were just playing with ggs guys that was a good match Oh, okay. I want the X-Rank pose as, like, a What the? <laughs> yeah, once X-Rank is in the game, maybe that, like, unlocks that emote. That would be hype. Plat on right. Uh, Hydra is nice. their plat, so we can't do too much until they're out of the way. I'm going to try and get Azuka ready. They got them out of the way. Nice. <laughs> oh, boy. But they, uh, 96 got me right. Gotcha. Flash on their plat. Oh, just you next, just you next. <laughs> oh, nice, 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 nice. They f fell in the water. I know it's a hot take, but I really like the layout of this map on Rainmaker. Or not Rainmaker Tower. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, Charger Evil. player. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try, or that a clash. That was the silliest trade I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Instead of just splatting oh. me right away like they could have with the roller, they charged up a curling bomb. So I still died, but I got to point blank them with the Trizuka before I did. Flash on left. Okay, Traded. <laughs> I just boxed the Hydra out off the ledge. I, I literally killed them by moving. <laughs> The shmovements, bro. The neutral game. What is this, Smash? I'm pretty the, sure they, the they actually got just, like, shoved backwards off the level. We love to see it. Got one. One on tower. Oh, a curling and bomb got me. A blaster in front. With, uh, roller. Roller, behind tower, behind tower. Nice. No roller. Hydra's back up by now. Maybe go on tower. Close the car. 96 going right. Oh, I didn't see the Clash Blaster. Other Clash? Or the Roller? Just Hydra, just Hydra. Hydra's on the plat. And a two drop right. I'm down. Nice. Got one. One in tower, one in tower. Got Roller. Dark Flash. <laughs> Or Clash is dead. I'm shocking below their plat. Stalling tower. That's a curling bomb. They're booyah bombing? Ah, booyah bomb got me. 
Hydra down. One rail, one rail. Oh, I a flash. I'm missing way too many of these shots. Okay, got one. And the roller didn't help at all, so we're, we're alive. Uh, really wide There's a, uh, a roller on the right, going to mid. Got him. Yeah, the roller got really focused on that flank. Because they ran right by me, splatting their teammate. Nice. Woo! <laughs> I don't think I've ever played that map mode. I like it. It looks cool. I think if they, like, fleshed out the actual design of it more, it would be a lot more, like, <laughs> fair. Yeah, there's just not enough room to stand in mid. <laughs> like... Even when the water is down and it's a significantly better map, there's still not enough room to stand in mid. <laughs> I like the idea of having, like, breaks in the map, but I think they don't do it in a very good way. Yeah, like, it works on a Undertow. I mean, the problem with Undertow is not the breaks in the map anyway. Like, no. that concept works there. The map itself, okay, maybe not so much, but um, there, there are at least some interesting ideas to it. I'd love if they, like, opened up the left side of Undertow to give them, like, an entirely separate, like, flank route. And it would also make that one area less useless. I really like, um, the way that it's laid out in Rainmaker, where there's that whole second route into their base. Like, I don't know why they didn't do that for every map. Oh, for every mode. Plot. Plot Rainmaker hurts me. You mean you don't like having to go up an uninkable ramp? That's my favorite. <laughs> you don't have to. You just hop across from the first checkpoint. <laughs> but I wish you didn't have to like go through that entire choke. Are you on third catalog? Yes, I am. Oh, you too. Roller on right. Got the wiper. And, and, and blaster on right. Down. So someone get on. I'll start pushing. Blaster got me. Yeah, they're on right. Pushing mid. Blaster down. Just the tri stringer. Got one. Uh, on me. Wiper. Sure. Up top. All right, one's coming up the left. Roller. Want to push up with Jen. Got the roller. Blaster coming down. Yeah, one dropped. I'm out of ink. Blaster, blaster down. Tower's on Viper. Tower. Viper's chasing me. Mark him with mine. Viper on me. Hit him twice, uh, I'm down. Rapid Blaster got me. Just you next. That's Botana. Rapid Pro is perfect. Another. Down uh, with Blaster. Blaster's left. Oh. Just you are. Oh, they have a DC. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. Well, we had lead, uh, so we win. <laughs> <laughs> we have to play True. Out. Two on tower still. Oh! Got them both. Stamper. Nice. Oh. Got that too. Wow. One drop left. Oh, they got me, but I got two blaster. Wiper oh, weak. Wiper truck. Roller. Oh, uh, wiper got me. With Slipana. Oh, they not dead. Thank you. Oh, Wiper on me. Wiper. My bad. Okay. Blaster got me at mid. They're on mid. Going up our truck. How do you. How did they do. How did they. Roller on their truck. They got me. Train on our truck. 2v2. There's someone up on our plat. Someone flight, up flight, on our flight. plat. They 
they that's get that. how you know they fixed the stamp. <laughs> Revamp the stamp. Revamp the stamp. Stamper on our going to our truck. It's actually a white fruit, but stamp it uses the stamp get it in the On me, on me. Fine, fine, mine. Oh, they got us. <laughs> I don't oh, see it's too late. We did get a bigger lead. Yeah. Oh, Linza got me. Wiper's coming left. They're hard Missiles, blinding. watch out. I got their roller. Blaster. Uh, in mid. Stamper weak. Or, wow. Now you got me saying it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm down to roller run right. Master's still in mid. Throwing tri strike. Him. Got him. Bomb tower. Got them off tower. Roller on us. Uh, I mean, wiper on the truck. Wiper mid, going right. Traded. Roller Blaster hurt. My ouch. Roller to their truck. Help Ari, help Ari. Down. Oh! <laughs> One more there. Alright, we got him. One on truck, one on truck. Got him. Wiper on tower. Blaster going for tower. Yeah, just keep them from dropping down and getting to it. Nice. Nice. Not quite fair, but still a good game. Life isn't fair. Your main tips on learning motion controls. I have a video on that. LB Shy Guy 69 YouTube. <laughs> oh, light blue shy guy. There we go. There we go. I've got it. Um, there, there's a, literally a video called Learning Motion Controls on the channel that I would recommend checking out if uh, that's something you want to know more about. Yes, I am Amerikan. Yeah. Fia, on the other hand, is... Well, I mean, you're you're North American, at least. No, I think you're just South Canadian. You're just South Canadian? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to call me North American, then I'm going to call you South Canadian. South Canadian. Simple. Or should I say... But, like, our, our continent is literally <laughs> called North America. <laughs> it, it's not It's not like, like Central Northern. Canada... <laughs> North North America, North North America. Pretty sure this is Central Canada. That's what we named Canada, North North America. North North America. Nope. Well, well technically, that is a Hydra that is completely stopping me from doing anything. Drop oh, right machine is, is on there. Gets... Oh, watch out for the fizzy. Uh, I did not watch out for the fizzy. Hydra's got a position on right. Machine's below our plat. I'm getting special to contest it with. I got Booyah bombed by the machine. I'll wait until we're back. Machine below our plat on the left side. Oh! Yeah, there you go. LDE strats. Alright, so now we're gonna win. Free a bomb. Got two? Two behind tower? Two behind tower? This map is rough. I didn't do anything that game. 
<laughs> Y'all better stop talking crap or we'll stop standing on guard for thee. <laughs> I know what I accomplished. I fed gloriously. North Mexico, yes. <laughs> I agree with that. Is it worth fully charging the fizzy bomb? Yeah, because you can do it pretty quick. Most fizzy bombs are going to be fully charged. You can throw one if you don't have time and get the extra, what is it, 50 damage on a direct? And then just combo that with a direct of your own, and that's a combo. But uh, I, I say assuming that we're playing Sloshing Machine, because that's that's the fizzy bomb weapon. Let's be real. We all went two and three except for Ari that game. Yeah, I fed. It was my goal. We all my... had three deaths. When I when I <laughs> first started to try playing Machine, I would like visibly shake my controller as fast as I could to get the fizzy bomb. Cause I didn't know you could just move the control stick back and forth. Just do both. Wait, do you actually have to shake? To, yeah. to no. Have to it's a way that you can do it. You can mash. It's a way, you can, yeah. You can move the the sticks around, so, like your your physical movement. Um, you can jump. There are a bunch of options. Blaster coming mid. Blaster pressuring uh, right track. Nice. And then. Oh crap. Blaster machine in mid. Blaster machine in I mid. Should've, I should have been paying oh, attention to that, my bad. Range in mid. Pushing, pushing. Let's go, ah, Ari. I'm out of ink. I'm out of ink. Ah! <laughs> we trade these, though? That's Charger drops. There's some mid. behind tower. Uh, some behind tower. I didn't see. Uh. Charger got me. Power. Charger goes trucking mid on ouch. I'm like Two left truck. Right. Somebody Sherman going on tower. Uh, Charger behind tower. Blaster under mid. Oh. Hit. Blaster. Got. I got Blaster. Whichever booyah. Got the jet. Got machine. Charger. Blaster drop top uh, left truck. Nice. I got their charger, I believe. <laughs> Other jet sculpture. They're out of me. Got him. Traded. One uh, charger and blaster still top right. Nice. I got charger. Blaster dead. Uh, nobody's on. Go. Uh, Where were they, Fia? Uh, wait, who? Who got you? Got machine. Oh, jet Sorry, they traded. Oh, okay. Got charger. We made past checkpoint. Jet Jet switcher on right. Blaster to your left. I'm pressuring yeah, them. Yeah, I'm pushing it. Got it. Jet switcher got me. Machine and jet switcher on ouch near tower. I'm down to machine on right. Roger dead. Alright, let's try and get up there with Nex. Nice. Blaster on me. I got him. We have bomb. We have weak. I didn't get him. We're two down. Ooh, that was an unsafe jump. I got the blaster. Charger, Charger fell. Top right. Charger drops, got them. Nice. Traded. One on right still. Jet. They're down. Blaster all Machine on right as well. Machine. Machine down. Nice. Blaster is weak. Got him. That's wipe. I'm getting into their base. It's just Charger right now. Oh man, I'm probably down with the jet. Yeah. One of them's coming up the right. Awesome, pushing up flat. We're down on tower. Yep. Splatter scope got me. 
I can probably grab it again. Nice. Got machine. I feel bad. Traded. Just jet on top left. Keep tower, keep tower. Oh, I missed it. All good. We still get checked for this. Oh. Oh, what bomb? M uh, blaster got me. Get checked and then back up. We can hold mid control though. Blaster weak. Oh, they directed me. Too easy to shot. Got blaster. Okay, good trade back. Got the charger. Got the jet spot nice. Get on tower, get on tower. Just machine. Machine on it, machine on right. Machine down. I didn't mean to throw that last one there. Oh my god, there's so many things. Got jet. That. Okay, that's delayed wipe. Just machine. Got machine. Just got your. Nice. Nice. We make a good team. How many games is that? Is that five or six games? Uh, I haven't been keeping track. It was a number. Yeah, that, that's true. It was a number more than one and less than 20. I think that was six. Thanks, da 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 da. Da. Uh, I, I appreciate that you like the video. That's one of my favorite rhythm game songs. Da 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 da. That's what it sounds like when I playing any rhythm game. And that's the name of the, that's actually the name of the game, or the name of the song. Is there a good time to get VOD reviewed? Um, what you want, what a VOD review is really good for is getting you perspective was... on what you need to work on um, when you don't really know what it is that you're doing wrong. Um, that was that's eight the, games. That's the best time. This is game nine. Are you keeping track for some reason? Uh, no, I just checked. I don't know why I'm I mean, track. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> yeah. You, should, you said you should cut it off at 7, so... This is not a Tuesday stream, though. Not a Tuesday stream? Okay. Past your super jump quiz? Good job. A student right there. Any tips for getting matched in a passive team comp? Um, play more aggressive positions than you are used to. Um... If you're recognizing that there's no forward motion, there's two on their truck. Gotta figure out something to do about it. I'm dropped. Blaster on truck. I'm getting their attention on right. They're moving. Blaster over dead. I uh, messed up my aim. You need to press the Y button at some point there and didn't get a chance. Expo on their truck. We're two down, be careful. Oh, this is a terrible drop. Oh. I should die for this. I traded, though. Uh, Treasure got me. Er, yeah. Got one off power. Got blaster. Got X block power. Hero shot's gonna go left. He's definitely better spot. Hero, uh, hero shot on their truck. They're stuck. Hit him twice. Oh, nah, didn't get him. They're sharking right and healing. Last hero on truck right next tower. Got mid, I got the hero mid. shot. I mean, here, I mean, hero shots in mid. Nice. I'm down to tr try stringer. Two top left. Don't push tower yet. Yeah, the, uh, the try stringer's on tower. Nice. Got him. On tower still, Expo, Expo weak. Buster's down. I got the, hero, I got the shot. Expo dropped. They're underneath. Hit him twice. I'm sure, I'm sure I jumped in on truck. They're still tower, still tower. There we go. Got the left tower. Tri Stringer's left track. Tri Stringer weak. Oh my god. Oh, I chased him away anyway. Got the 
Yes. If there is a... The callouts are not official or anything yet, but if there is a spot that can be called flat, it is that one. Okay. Alright, we're all down. We got checked. That's a successful push. Got one off tower. Try string here to drop. Down. Pitch Blaster is on the track. They dropped. Nice. Let's get tower. Explo is going to be contesting at first check. I'm going to try and keep him bombed out. Got one. Well, back. My laptop is connected from Wi-Fi for a second. Oh. oh. We're coming right. I'm pushing him. Next one right. Uh, Blaster got me. Uh, on truck. Not on car. They're pushing through mid. Pushing on bridge. Blaster weak. Uh, I'm dead to Explo. Explo coming through mid. Okay. Explo on truck. On, to, uh, on bridge. Got Explo. Shot weak on left. Got him. Blasters above. Nice. Keep tower going. Keep tower going. On it. I'm dropping off tower. One in front of tower. By tower, tower, tower. Got him. Nice. Blaster on the right, right. near tower. Blaster down. I'm jumping to. Explo down. Oh, I meant to jump to. Uh... String down. Just shot. Shots in front. Got shot. Keep tower, keep tower. Blaster down. Good stuff. I suicide into the void at the end. <laughs> yeah, I I uh I was like talking to people and I didn't hear any voices and I was I looked at my computer and I was just gonna keep on the Wi-Fi. Oh no. At least it's better than uh, talking and then realizing you were muted. Yeah. At least my switch is on Ethernet. Yeah. We made it, we made it, it was fine. Bye. Lucia, come here. I love Charger. You're pretty good. Thank you. I've been playing it since Splatoon 1. So. <laughs> quiz, um, quiz video was a fantastic idea, by the way. Maybe make it a recurring thing, interactivity. Yeah, I mean, if I find something that I think um, has like very clear-cut answers like that, that, that could be something that we try to do. Why do I keep dropping right here? This is These are on place. tower. Not heavy. Or junior on tower, junior on tower. Nice. This right. leader is dead. Nope. Just squeezer. They're on the bubble. Not Squeezer's anymore. Behind the... Oh, that was a bad decision. One rushing tower, junior. Getting back. They're chasing Fia. Uh, down? the spelling is just to be down. Spelling on left, on right mid. 
No way. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna sit here. I died for the stage to be better. Was it worth it? Though? Well. Yes. <laughs> Not three of them. With mahi, anything's worth Ow. it. Oh. I like. Mahi. Bring on tower. No way I get this. What the heck? That was just a 1v3. Are you mid? <laughs> Me if I could hit my shots challenge. Backing up. I completely ignored the beacon I put up here. <laughs> the panic beacon. I... Oh. This is um, bloody. I'm getting out. Bye. Where did they go? Definitely flew over my head, right? I'm not seeing things. No. I traded Hydra. Oh yeah, yeah, they are here. Oh, e leader. Nice. All right. Yeah, don't push that too hastily. We don't have anyone in front of it. I'm gonna try and get up over the right hand side, see if I can- Oh, no, they got me, they got me. Yeah, we don't have to push this too hard. If we can't oh, get over that the safely, got me. We, we need to not go The Elyr got me. Careful, I was just using the down. tower's cover. We're too down, we're too down, careful. Nice. Uh, that is a squeezer. I'll hit these shots eventually, thank you. Oh, their leader sniped me through my wave breaker in the tower. I'm impressed. You're down. Thank you for putting the beacon in And you're down. Hydra on. My squeeze around tower. Hydra got me. It's wild. Hydra right on ouch. Or heavy. It's not Hydra, it's a heavy. You wish it was a Hydra. <laughs> I don't know. I just start calling every heavy a Hydra. That's the first one I ran into. Very bad aim on my part. That should have been two. Heavy dropping right. Heavy dropping right. Ah. Okay, just play defensively. Chuck some bomb. Oh, oh. The charger. Oh. He's down. Just they Junior, they have bubble on right, on right, on right. By the pillow. Yeah, I'm gonna jump to you. Leaders there. Ah, uh, this charger got me. Charger got me. Yeah, good trade up. Squeezer in mid. Got him. Oh, the <laughs> they fell in the water. <laughs> Heavy down. Got the leader. Nice. Okay, just Junior, and I see them. They're right in front of me. Got him. They got a bubble up though. That's gonna be annoying. Rid of the Hydra. The heavy. Oh, oh, the game's over. Yeah. Yeah, we won. What can I do if I'm getting crowded by our front line as a backliner? Um, you you kind of want to take a position to give you an off angle at the very least. Um, because you don't want them, like, running in front of you and blocking shots. You don't want them to, uh, draw aggro to you. So at least get to a position where if they're shooting at one of you, they're not shooting at both of you. Is a mini Hydra just a heavy? These are the important questions. I feel like that last jump was a bad one. Yeah, that's why I went, Wee! Uh That last jump actually probably wasn't a terrible idea um, because we were so close to KOing that if they take the time to camp the jump, they can't take the time to clear the tower. There are actually times where it is 
advantageous objective wise to feed um and in situations where it's like the last 20 ticks on zone the last few points of tower um if you're out in front of the rainmaker carrier like literally just running into the other team and being like rah you gotta shoot me haha -ha, um <laughs> is not a terrible plan um error all right i'm gonna go sleep mode oh okay i got calm error myself Hello there, Jen. This is Wells Fargo. We need your credit card info. Okay, so it's going to be 0000 000 000 000 000. Um, and then the the three numbers on the back are all going to be uh, zeros as well. Yeah, I wanted to thank you guys. What about the expiration dates? <laughs> oh my god. What you were saying, Ari? Uh, I was just saying I wanted to thank you guys for um, like letting me play these matches with you because um, I know I'm not the best. You're doing uh, great. Yeah, you're doing fine. Don't even worry about it. Here's a puppy with a Gengar to keep you you sheep distracted while I I put the secret Illuminati information into the 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 screen here. All right, same password as before. Okay. Uh, expiration date, by the way, is um, the dawn of time. It has always and forever been expired, uh, but people take my money anyway because ah! I'm just cool like that. <laughs> it's it's actually January. 1969 or 1970 when computers started or the computer clock usually starts gotcha see that's that's a better answer i was just trying to figure out how we could make it all zeros because like there was a year zero but there wasn't like a zero month the zero month yeah the zero month so I figured we had to get into some more abstract theoretical territory. There. Was your year zero? I feel like that it goes from one BC or one AD to one BC. Oh yeah, does it? Huh? Maybe there wasn't a year zero. The test run. <laughs> like, what was the concept of zero even widely understood at that point in time? Maybe they're just ninety six on left. 52 on left. Got him. Took a history of mathematics first, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I didn't have a concept of, like, a number for nothing. Julie's ah! oh. uh, pushing our side. Nice. I traded it with the 96. Uh, 52. Uh, Never mind. Oh, crap. Oh, that was one fewer shot than I had. They're jumping into mid. There's going to be three there soon. 2v3. Oh. I don't want to go in there. Your oh, shot in front of our plat. Oh, two, two on, me, on me. I'm jumping. I'm down. Oh, God. I don't want them to come to me. Stay back. Teens. <laughs> there. Hand up. Your shot pushing up. We. Flash below our ledge. Where, where was that bomb? From left, from left. We need to focus the right side. Left is distraction. Got the tower. Alright, all on tower. Got the tower. Got Dooley's. Oh, I didn't see the bomb. Mm. Throw my ouch, throw my ouch. Flash got me. You're in Gal. There's one in our, in our Gal in our yeah. spawn area. Got him. Here. There's another one. Got one, I'm down. That's white. Oh. Alright, clean up our side. Make sure that that's not painted so they can't flank us. Now let's start getting control left. Oh, 
God, I didn't see them move there. Hello. Alright. Crab. Grabbing someone else on right. Oh, crab, 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 flash. Crab, crab. Crab down. Crab. Uh, down weak. There's down. a shot, left, shot left, an ouch, right. shot an ouch. Or left, left, left. Are we traded? One more, my ounce clash. Nice. Another one on left. Oh, on my out fifty-two. Flash down. Another That's one behind right. tower. No. Got another one. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna hit. Uh, tower's dead. Tower's dead. Bird. Shiro shot. Pushing tower. Pushing tower. On left. On left. Boobies. Oh. Two. They're very weak. They got to mid. They got to mid. On left. On left. Ten twice. Oh. They're down. Got the hero shot. On our plat. Crab tank on our plat. All right. Crap tank down. What is the point of that increase? Oh! D2 on me. One, your shot's on tower. They're hurt. Oh, 52 on my out. Azuka, mid. Crap tank on tower. Okay. Crap tank on tower. 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 Crap I'm gonna push this. I'm getting pushed from the front. Oh, oh we stopped it. Happy two on, on right. Got him. Flash also in base. Oh. Got him. Got one. There's a Dooley's and someone else on right. On left, on left. They got me. Got one, ouch. Got one, ouch. Jumping up to our plat. Gal behind you, Phil. Tower in five. The Gal is. Oh, I died. Yeah, that's okay. That was not a winning situation for sure. That was a rough game. Mahi Mahi would be better if it was just permanently watered down, but even then, it still wouldn't be a good map. <laughs> True. Now, we got the whole conversation going about uh, math in the chat. <laughs> We're talking about base 16 number systems and the Mayans and all sorts of stuff. I put up a YouTube chat. I'm just like, yeah, Twitch chat. <laughs> On one of my CS midterms, I had to convert decimal to base 16 by hand, and it was terrible. That sounds painful. And it was like, the number was like 530-something. So it wasn't easy. That's just mean. It is. <laughs> Based binary. I mean, it works. It's literally the least efficient way of of getting large numbers put to, put out there, but flash and mid something you can simulate with electricity, so that's neat. One Did coming from behind, coming like directly behind Fia, directly behind. Oh, oh. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, they went a lot further than I expected. Sorry, they're behind you, Jim. Okay, Please, at least behind the truck on the right. They're just gonna be dropping left the entire game. Got him. Crab on left. I'm. Uh, I'm how am I not dead? Flash below uh, right truck. Gal looking left again. 
Oh, Potentially gosh. far flank. No, they're they're down to mid. They're down to mid. Now they're flanked. They're coming around. Flash. Oh, one of our on our plat. Uh, clash and uh, here on Ouch. Or doobies. Yeah, we need some attention oh. on the left. They keep dropping there and flanking. They're they're gonna be behind us right now. I tried to doobies. Tried to doobies. Still gal. Yep. They were there somewhere. On my ouch. Nice. You did. You did. Gal's down. Let's try and get control of tower now. Flash got me on ouch. One jumping in, one jumping in. Flash down, got another one. That's three, just doolies. Doolies are crabbed on our plat. Crab. That sounds like the negative status effect. Hit, hit. Got him. Nice. Alright, now we gotta just pain. Flash bottom mid, nice. Um, ouch on ouch. It's the gal. Got up to our plat. Dropping down behind Beacon. Stalling tower. I'm down on tower. Got the gal somehow. Careful what you down. Flash is the left. Got Got Zuka traded. One on tower still. I got one. Dropping back into mid. Oh, Clash below our ledge. Clash down. Man, I saw a bomb and thought it was a person. Bombs are people too, Jeff. Uh, it's guy on our ledge, guy on our ledge. I literally couldn't see them. Clash is gonna get me. Yeah. Yeah. Gal. I kept him before. Crab, Crab tank on, on our one. Oh wow, I thought they had three shots. Oh, it was multiple Zookas that got popped. Oh! Unfortunate. Uh, that was also a very rough game. Jim, do you have a master's degree in Splatoon? I cannot say that I do. That uh, that would be a falsehood if I were to, to claim as, as much. And here I thought you were a Splatoon certified professor. <laughs> I am See, shocked. the problem is is not that I couldn't get certified. It's that there's nobody to certify me. <laughs> <laughs> then make your own certification. <laughs> we actually did that at Bravis. Like, we, we sold uh, coaching certifications to uh, people who wanted to learn. We tried to become a, a recognized agency as such, but... Uh, we, Weren't around long enough to for that to kick off at all. Trial by combat doesn't seem very nice. Trial by combat's my favorite. Is it faster shooting to tap repeatedly with blasters rather than hold? Oh. I don't think so. I think if you hold it down, it just buffers the shot as quickly as possible. Holding down. Tapping, if anything, has the chance to slow you down. Yeah. But if you're not, not with every weapon, but with blasters. Yeah, with blasters specifically. Um, and thank you, Madalina. Um, I, I appreciate that that's, uh, that that's helpful. Oh. oh boy. Roller on right, ah, on no. left. Okay. Bad, traded. Uh, pro and ouch, pro and ouch, nice. Not anymore. <laughs> an amateur. I'm dead. <laughs> I threw a bomb though, okay? I I, I didn't uh I Roller coming her left again temporarily. <laughs> Got him. They just displaced me less temporarily, that was the problem. Bro died in the water. Permanent Meat. Yeah, not permanent. It's like twelve or thirteen Semi -permanent. seconds. Elongated. Oh. That's Elongated. 
I got three. Just like my kill streak. Roller dropped on dropped. Yeah, They're we going can right. Zone that. We can zone that. Nice. Charge down. See if we can get that check. Nice. Okay, we can back off if we need. Definitely back off. Roller on my on me. Got two. Roller in mid on ouch. Roller not ouch. Nice. Got two. One on rail, one on rail. Hit him once. They're right in front of us. Oh, no! Water! <laughs> I've never heard, I've never heard it called platforming problem. issues, but that is so accurate. <laughs> Charger going on tower, charger on tower. Backed off. We jump out of these. I got all the missiles. I will move over here to a safe spot. Back. Roller in spawn, got him. Oh. Well, I, don't, I don't know if it would be appropriate to say what I normally say. <laughs> that special gets whipped out. Uh, three on tower dead. <laughs> I know Blade exactly wife, I what you were about to say. <laughs> <laughs> roller, oh, roller got me. Nice. Half shot. Uh, I can boredom? Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's, there are people who, who play with the tags of like depression and anxiety. So like you splat in depression, you just splat it in. Trade with roller, trade with roller. I have the best uh, splat deck title. I am a seasoned cat. Oh, that does sound awesome. I mean, Two of my ouch with crab, crab, watch out, okay. back off. Yep, back down. I got a roller. Alright, one for one. Uh, someone's going right, someone's going right. I nice. got them. That's three down, just, just charger on tower, on tower. They drop left, they drop left. Behind you, Ari. I'm nice. Run away. Oh, roller, roller next to tower, roller dropping. Coming, roller coming tower from behind. Oh, I thought that was That's a dead jump. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. I got the flames there. <laughs> and this is Gal left a bomb up there. Anchor. Back is out left. Got back. There's three behind tower. All three behind tower. Roller down, traded. Charger in mid. It's a uh, pro on tower with someone else. With someone else, I traded. I got the. Uh, uh, I got both. One minute they have a uh, lead here, but not by much. Roller on left. Got him. I don't know. Oh, wait, just charge on live. Hit your feet. Charge on tower. Charge on tower. Charge it down. I pay for special. Ton of missiles. On my ouch. Roller. Roller behind. Got me. We need to push tower real quick. Yeah. I couldn't get in on them. Uh, they're down. Four seconds to tower. Roller, roller got me. I got on. Oh, I can get there in time. Uh. Is there a way to use a team pushing for more map space to your advantage, like using it as a trap? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Using like their over aggression or just their regular... like having the team push forward and then just like back up all to of a sudden to, to try and bait something, get to try to circle around on somebody, maybe. Not sure what that means. We've all been stumped. OK. 
Okay, I love my KD here. 7-Eleven. There you go. <laughs> You're the tacticaler player, you know? You're giving us those beverages. <laughs> care deeply about the rehydration status of my teammates. <laughs> well, you, you care deeply about how much sugar they've been consuming, at least. <laughs> and you want well, to I mean... <laughs> <laughs> so what if the soda also, also has sugar? <laughs> See... It's a little sugar. Thing is, like, a lot of soda actually dehydrates you. <laughs> because of how much, uh... uh Watch out, Fia, for the... Splash, right, splash bar or plat. Splash bar or plat. Snipe. Ah, uh, I didn't have a good angle, sorry. They fell down. Let's grab a tower. Can we make this jump? I'm gonna try. No, okay, well. That was a failed experiment. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Suddenly, barriers dropped and... There's a crab in my face. <laughs> there's a crab in my face. Well, uh, blaster? Oh, uh, stop next. That Stringer might have, tower? String that might have actually saved Front tower. Or square for going to tower. I got, I got Splash. Got one. Really? We can't jump over there? That's Snipe. I got Charger. I got Buster. Trusting your hurt behind tower. The crab on her. Former crab. An ex crab. Ex crab. Crab ex. You crab ex. Squiff is in mid. They're stuck. Got him. One pushing me. I'm down. Splash pushing left, left block. A splash? Yes. Splash down. Blaster on block. You gonna dance with a clash blaster? Blaster in mid. Got rapid, I'm down. Uh, traded. I was blocking plus. The pressure is in front of power, they have a jump going on. Contesting mid. Wrap it down. Splash far left. Third with splash. Hey look, we've got a, we've got a score, guys. Yay! Wow, we got it. I'm just proud of us. Oh, sorry, sorry. Splash. I see him. Oh, okay. Twice. The round tower. I'm gonna do something a little crazy. Splash on me. Oh, yep, nice. Splash down. One more. Ow. Splash her down. Two on left, two on left. Squiff and, uh, oh, okay. and oh, bow. Got, got Squiff. Tapping tower. Splash her, got me. There, two on there, snipe. I'm going to it now. Ah! Watch in front of tower. Splash in front of tower. Watch out behind you, Gem. Yep. It would be nice. Oh! Tower's going the other direction. <laughs> oh, they KO'd. 
Yeah, yeah we were we were a frame too late. Yeah. Man. Beagles do, and Lucia does. Okay. He, Oreo gets one at noon. noon. Sorry. Really good Talking about my dogs. Yeah. I feel you, Andrew. I customized this gear that I'm wearing just because I liked it and I didn't want to like mismatch. I think my fit is very funny. I, uh... I don't know, I am kind of wearing some stuff for the fashion. I've got the, the Tenetech headband. Which was a, a staple. It was a staple of uh, my build from Splatoon 2. But they've at least got mains that are reasonable for the weapon. My outfit is really fashion that just happened to have mains. Ugh. I oh, Blaster, Blaster got me. Blaster right behind tower. Blaster shark behind tower. Fashion. Stop trying to make right happen, Jim. I think Inch Blaster is, is hiding behind their barrier back there. I don't know what it's called. They're just watching me. <laughs> ah, I traded. I had Trader Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I traded with Trader Joe. I got tr I got Clash. Oh, they have two E leaders, huh? Yes. yes they do. That's so they rough on this map. Got one of the leaders. They are flanked. Watch us hurt. Dead. Oh, wait, breaker. Got one of the leaders. Oh, hi. Trader Joe on right now. Uh, Blaster on Ash pushing tower. Blaster, uh, range Blaster on tower. Leaders distracted in their base. But, uh, range is dead. Clash on tower. Clash dead. And Jemmy doing a great job being a distraction. One of the leaders on plat. They're dead. Alright. I, I painted up your Oh, my ouch blaster. Yeah. I fell in the water. Got blaster. Into the Mahi experience. Yeah, I'm a swimmer, but I don't be swimming right now. Blaster got me. Nice. Woo, we got it. Oh, there's the blaster. Or there's the charger. Blaster on tower. Dead. Clash jumping in. Dead. We got this gem. Leader down. Another leader down. Uh, blaster, blaster on weak. block. Go ahead. Blaster mid. down. Flash weak. Oh my god. Traded. I should have jumped in. Oh. Uh, the flash. Now, the tower. Are you leaders? Are they put on me? Flash is down. Blaster down. Leaders both left. Might be rotating. Flash jumping tower. Flash dead. Hi, Oreo. Oreo is such a good pet name. I, I'm jumping out. What flavor of pet is Oreo? He... 
Lucky is a boxer. Blast from tower? Range on tower? Dead? Uh, watch for, behind the train. Leader down. Flash blank. Leader oh, jumping jumps. out. Oops. Clash? On, clash on left, right, done. Got him. Nice. nice. <laughs> Directions are difficult, especially when I'm focused on killing someone. Fair. <laughs> Why do people hate the new Mahi? Um, it's difficult for <sighs> anybody to exist in mid. You, you have like one piece of cover that actually works pretty well, and then a couple of flank options. But you're just constantly pinned by an E-leader or a Hydra or whatever decides to sit up there on the plat. Um, and it's just really kind of a suffocating map to play, especially before the water goes down. When the water goes down, you at least have a little more room to maneuver and a little bit more cover, but even then, not very much. And it's very painful to try and push anywhere, which leads to the map being very stally. Uh, it leads to the map demanding that you pop a bunch of specials and just bombard people with like missiles before you go in um which is not a super fun play style to play against or to play yourself i just hate it because i wait that's I like a lot of emos ram is here ram <laughs> thank you ram for the gift memberships um so we got a whole bunch of people who have just been uh gifted a membership Thank you so much. They have a hydra. I'm mm -hmm. Never mind, they have a squipper kill. Uh, Roller on tower? The Squipper's name is just a lie. Their name is Squid, but they're an octillion. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know how they identify. Can you change your species that well? Is that how this works? They're, I got a traitor with Ivy. They're Squid Kin. That's a Hydra. <laughs> squid Kin. I'm just good. Alright, Kin. Traded with Flingza? Watch out for the bomb on tower. Ooh, collat. Let's go. Uh, and then I can stack up uh, we can probably still keep this going, though. My bomb yeah, straight into the water. Just roller, just roller in front, in front. In the water. Oh. Roller in the water. <laughs> they, did they get shoved by the tower? Traded... No, they, they just jumped in the water. I... Trade with the squiffer. I didn't, Oh. Oh. Uh, Hydra. Squiff, I'm down. Shot in front. That's a weird angle. I didn't realize I could get that. Try and get in front of this. Can someone have to come up and take tower? Uh, Hydra got me. I'm down to Squiff. Squiff on. Uh, try strike or try. Go try Zuko. Yo, I got a kill with my mind. I do remember that I don't have swim speed because I'm not running ninja. Or I don't have as much swim speed. Two pushing left. Not running ninja squid. I got the roller. I uh. Splatter shot blower ledge. Pushing up. Oh, for on my. Is focused on my beacon. Yay. Nice shot. Going. They're weak. Oh, they're hurt. One more shot. Ah. Oh. Uh, my bad. On the beacon. Splatter shot on tower. Out behind me. <laughs> <laughs> well, was it accurate? Well, I proceeded to take a second to react to my own call out. <laughs> Dead to Booyah. Hydra on tower. Uh, Scriff on our ledge? Early dead? Hydra on left. Scriff traded? That got me. Damn. Shredder with roller. Just 
Two in mid. Three in mid. I should not do that. Blings on my ouch. Blings is coming around to the flat. Got him. Oh, I got two. Uh, both back lines on tower. Both back lines on tower. They both jumped off. Yeah, it's closest. I knew what they meant. Yeah, fair enough. See if we can stop tower soon for lead. Roller's dead. Roller dead. Hydra weak. Focus tower. Focus tower. Nice. Well, two more. They're jumping in. They're jumping in. On tower. One dead. I'm still alive. Oh my god. Roller on tower. Roller on tower. Roller on tower. Oh no. No. I was so unlucky. <laughs> We, we needed someone, like, because when we had some people on tower, we needed someone shooting at the tower instead of just trying to all climb it at once. That's how the roller rolls over yeah. everyone. <laughs> but it, it was it was tough by the time they got to that point. I should I like two or three at the end there, and the roller just rolled over us. Hey, so, uh, if, if, you, uh, if, you, if you touch the fuzzy ooze, does that mean... That you, you you've got squid fur. Um, no. if you touch the fuzzy, you're technically dead. So, or you get turned into a, a mammalian. Yeah, you're not dead. You just you're fuzzy. Um, you lose your sense of self. And you can't move. Yeah, you you're not you're not used beard. to those limbs yet. How effective those are squid limbs. rolls? Uh, squid rolls in combat are pretty situational. Um, but for movement tech, there are definitely some really valuable uses. Uh, get, using them to get off of walls is really important. Um, there are ways that you can use them for platforming that are faster than trying to reverse directions the normal way. Um, so there are definitely good options there. And I use a pro controller. They're really fancy, expensive Nintendo cells. Hey, they're cheaper than Joy-Cons. <laughs> if you touch the fuzzy ooze, you become a furry? Okay, fine. You become furry, not a furry. There's a difference. Is there? You don't instantly yes. become more flamboyant. Roller dropping right, going mid. They're behind truck. Oh, that's an e-leader. E-leader, I hereby challenge you. I'm, I'm out of ink. <laughs> I'm just charging for Azuka. And I'll get up. I'll try and do something with it. Uh, oh. I'll tap tower. That was the wrong target for me to shoot at. I knew they were there too. Oh, flings, flings on left, flings on left. Ah. Uh, we're three down, we're three down, careful. Flings is running, respawn punisher. Uh, flings is going, trying to go into our court, or on our truck. Got the explode. Missiles. There's a, uh, there's a, a splash on our left. Flings is heading or, flings up flings on left. Watch out. Oh, they got me? They're low? Long as the sharks. Left They're... truck is leader. Yeah. Oh. I didn't hit anyone with that. His way up, back up left again. Firing ten I see him. I Dead. Finally. Expo on right. um, truck. Expo yep. on tower now. I'm tapped. Bottom right week. I'm probably dead. Nice shot. Trader with flash. Trader with flash. Explodes down. Got the leader. Nice. I'm flanking. Just flings it. Just flings it. Oh, flings it on tower. Where did I get that? Nice. Explodes boxed in with, with others. Yeah. Someone take tower, I'll three, take three tower. Three on plat now, three on plat now. It's, it's 3v3, be careful, be careful. Help next, help next, up front, up front. Got the leader, traded the leader, flag. 
Oh, uh, I could have got someone. I missed like all my shots. On my ouch. Flingza. Oh, uh, Flingza. Your last arm. Yeah, okay. Your last arm. Blow, blow, blow. Oh, I didn't. Flingza is sharking on the truck. I got mined. Mine. I have a question. Do mines act like a point sensor now too? They always have. Not they have one. Have? Oh. In, in Splatoon one, they one shot had a much slower explosion time. One coming up right. The big and then in two, they added the. Um, I missed all my shots. There's a the flings us on our um, flings us our truck. It. It's just two left truck. One really weak on right. Watch on bridge. They got away. I'm I got, I got, got. Still left truck, still left truck. Bottom left. Two, two, two. Oh, that was so bad on my part. Why did I do that? Leader down. Flings a weak, traded. That's two down, just explode and splash. Explo oh, explo and splash on their truck. I got the explo. I got the splash. Got the explo. Uh, two left. Yeah, they see me. Oh. I'm probably dead. Yeah, my bad. Splash left truck. We're two down, we're two down. Good jump. Two on right truck. Got flings. Uh, another one pushing me. Are we traded? Got a splash off tower again. We don't need to push it very far, but we need to get some forward pressure. We need to control their left truck. Oh, there it is. One mid. One mid. We're gonna need to have tower in ten seconds. I'll try and stay as safe as I can until then, but we gotta go. One on me, one on me. I'm gonna need help. Oh, I didn't get him. Tower, tower, tower. Going for it. No! Get there in time. That was close. Wow, 15 to 16 is a low score. <laughs> this is a map known for low scores, to be fair. I mean, it is in Clam Blitz. <laughs> Maybe not so much in Tower Control. Oh my goodness. That was a bad game for me. Don't mind, don't mind. Do not let one game get us down. There will be many more good and many more bad. Oh. I was proud of myself that game. <laughs> Next, add your ink strikes to your your kill and assist count. There you go. <laughs> That's how that works, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a number, you can add that. <laughs> Double charger for gamers that love having fun. I love having fun because I always win these matchups. <laughs> oh, charger got me. One's down. Roller dropped to mid. They're coming after Fia. No, they're they're they no, juked they're me. Not. They don't good care. job, good job. Too cool. One of the charges is running a respawn, Punisher. One above you, uh, Ari. They dropped on Ari, on Ari. Oh, I ran out of eight. Traded. Nah. Got the leader again. Two in mid. Alright. It's roller above you. Yeah. Got one of them. I don't know where the other one went. Okay, they dropped off the truck. 
I hit I hit a uh, charger. They're attacking me down. Which means that they're not shooting me. So this is fine. Oh, they are shooting me though. I got I got goobies. Alright, that should be check here. Oh, there's one on me. Did you call those goobies? Googie? I might have. Baby goobies. I meant to say oh, doolies. Two on left. Hit it with a. Still one, still one, still one. Gluga's on tower, Gluga next tower. With roller. Gluga's down. Uh, yeah, Gluga's down. <laughs> Glugies. I might actually start calling them that, that, that now. It's eh. fast, but yeah. Words are hard. Ah, oh, that didn't hit anything. Oh. Oh, that roller. That didn't work. Oh. Charger, got a roller. Got the other charger. I'm game. contributing. <laughs> Gloogies. All right. I think we've decided everyone needs to just call them Gloogies now. Gloogies. Glad we're all in agreement. Do you know what controller you're using? Of course I know what controller I'm using, but I'm not <laughs> telling you because I already told you earlier and you weren't paying attention. <laughs> I, I use the pro controller. Not paying attention. I spit. <laughs> when I started playing Splatoon, I used to use the um, the game pro controller. I think he's ready to go to bed. Are the, are the beagles in there? The GameCube Pro Controller is the best controller. Because it just sounds oh. amazing to use. Okay, but like, can I interest you in a Wii U gamepad? No, because I never owned a Wii U. That con okay, that thing worked so well for Splatoon and so poorly for everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I miss how easy it was to, to look at the map and super jump uh, in the Wii U. I more. miss how precise the motion controls were because it made sniping even more like fluid than it is in this game. I've heard the sniping is better in three than it was in either of them. Uh, the sniping, yeah, but I think the motion was better in one. Well, that's just my opinion. Oh, now got me. There was a lot of bombs. I should have jumped out earlier. I didn't want to abandon it. Right. But... They're coming around. They're on our plat, they're on our plat. Don't go in too quickly. Got one. Charger. Brush underneath. Them twice. Nice. Got brush. Going for tower. Ink pack. Still on tower? Yeah, they we need to push it now. Got it. Ah, oh, Junior. Bomb. The brush trying to come up left. There might be flank. Oh, there's two on me. Got one. I'm down. Nice. Oh, the rush. Tower, tower. Uh, gal. Good um. stuff. Um. The, uh, charge jumped out. I'm getting on the plat. What was that? Oh, there, I got shot. Oh. Charger's on right. Check it most. Outfitted. And then get out oh. of there. Uh, charger on tower. What? Did they just see me through Ninja Squid there? Or... Is that a guess? Oh! Yeah, I was not ready for that bomb. I thought I was out of range. The sub power up increase the power of the range of these bombs? Or no? This is like no range. I could be wrong. Uh, sub power up. Junior hurt. The lower ledge. For which bombs? Uh, for like any of the bombs. Does it increase like their? It increases radius? range. Not damage radius. Like how far you can throw them. 
That's a big raid from Ahmed. Thank you so much, Ahmed. Welcome to Squid School, everybody. We're actually about to have a VOD review in the near future here. Oh, the charger got me. <laughs> this is squid recess, you know? We're in squid, squid studies, squid study all. That one or yeah, what? Got me. Nice. Got him. Why none of my shots were hitting? Bubbler. Uh, watch out for Junior and but Junior with Bubbler. Yeah, Junior was left. They backed up in the mid. Nice. Getting out of that. I can't DPS. You're taking away all my Zooka targets. I'm sorry, there's one on uh, right mid. Oh, on me. Uh, brush behind tower, got him. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take tower. Charger, uh, Charger got me, they're behind pillow. Oh, yeah. That Charger's yeah. really good aim. Holy man! Fine then. <laughs> yeah, no, no compliments allowed unless they're for Fia. This is obviously. No, I'm kidding. I respect them. They're using right now. Oh. Well. Let me push tower. Well, that's that's what you. I try. Oh, oh, you got the collat too. Oh man, I almost saved it. But yeah, I tried to go on tower uh, and they tower attacked me, so here. I couldn't even get up. Yeah, the, the the tower slide at the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unstoppable caveman. <laughs> Aged sister. <laughs> Ambiguous equation. I like their titles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes until we've got uh, our our VOD review with Octo Ari here. Four star on Slosher. Nice. What is your main? Slosher. <laughs> and it's not even close. <laughs> Something that's been on the Discord since I can speak English and Japanese. Share the channel with Japanese friends. Hope to see more join. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, for those who don't know what they're talking about, I, in the, the Discord server, I made an announcement that uh, there is now a role for people who are capable of translating between Japanese and English. Because um, there have been a number of tasks that uh, I've had come up where it was useful to have a translator. And I have had to like individually find people and track them down. And so this way I'll be able to just ping all of them. And whoever is able to help can just join us from there. Oh, I meant to roll over the auto bomb. Uh, pushing he right. Heavy and heavy on and doobies on right. Got him. On left. Hydra down. Got oh, nice. Nice. Oh, the Hydra. Someone else take this from me when you can. Got it. Tetris got me left. Oh, Behind tower. Oh, the Hydra. Crazy. On Fiat. There's a uh, splash coming. Splash coming right. Yeah, splash just, coming right. Just get the check if you can. Yeah, okay, man. No, it's all good. It's all good. The if you can was a very big if. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot on the the dualies there. I'm in no no zone. I'm leaving. No no zone. Yes, it's the zone where you yeah. don't want to be. Yeah. If I learned anything from Jen's streams, it's to stay away from there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, booyah! 
Ooh. Oh, I can't believe that. I lived. I got Stringer. That's an auto bomb. The Hydra revealed themselves to me. As they that one. Just Tetras. Oh, They're on left. Tetras. They're on left. Got him. Stringer jumped out. Hydra got me right. I got I got splash or do. <laughs> Squid bag me. Yes, you you recognize them, Kuma? <laughs> Mahi with Hydra, scary. You know what's scarier than Mahi with Hydra? My Mahi with E leader. <laughs> I'm gonna open my bag of lime chips. Record score setter. Yes, I, I was actually riding the tower as the game ended. Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close to my third catalog. Is this what it feels like to have a positive KD with dualies? It's weird. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I do kind of feel like feeding a little bit later on. Maybe I'll maybe I'll grab some Tetris. And we can do lead together. Hey! Uh, we, should, we should do pod dualies in that case. I'll join you. I don't think I have any in do I don't think I have any dualies bought. No, be real. They're so my, fun. Why wouldn't you? My join in the translating thing. Awesome. We've got so many so many Japanese speakers. I, we uh, weebs lend us your power. <laughs> <laughs> it is the worst feeling imaginable when I'm like lining up a shot and I release the trigger and then it says game start right before it fires. So I just see the like cursor sitting there on the dummy. Machine going, machine going left. Oh, watch out for fizzies. Oh, charger got me. Nice. Blaster on right. We're coming after Fia. Nice. No. Tower. Charge, charge. Nice shot. Leaders. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Spalding's hurt. Oh. I couldn't get him. Now I can actually play the game. It's now easier for me to snipe people. <laughs> range in mid, range dead. I'm gonna try and get in, in front of this Ari, but no promises. I can't oh, see. I put it on the wrong side. Hydra, Booyah. Hydra down. Ooh. Two on tower. <laughs> Got one, one more tower, leader. Got him. One more tower. I swear only one more tower. Only one more tower. <laughs> one more tower. No one another one spawns. One more tower, another one spawns. Would you say twenty-one kills in splat zones is good? Uh I would object to the use of the word good in that sentence. I have an entire video about the way that you are using the word good and how it is not a useful way to think about the game. Um, and it's, like, uh, very worthwhile, I think, for you to watch so that you can understand, like, how to track your progress and set your goals in a way that's going to be more useful to you than just asking if someone thinks you're good. Probably not the answer you were expecting to that, but I have thought about it a lot. Another thing that I would say, though, is that uh, splats are not necessarily what matter. Because those splats may or may not have been useful ones. They're, they're, I had a, a teammate in a, a Clan Blitz game recently who went 0-8 and, and was one of the most useful players on the team because they were constantly playing the objective at the right time. So... It all depends. Your feet 
Splats do matter. They're just not the most. I got do it. I got Tetras. It's all about what the splats accomplish for you. Uh, wipers on their truck. Nice. One more, my own. Who did I get with? What? I killed someone. <laughs> I don't like know how. Back there. It was a. It was a mosh pit. Oh, Tetra is coming up our. Tetra is coming up our, uh, our left. I'm gonna ignore them for now. Zip. Traded. One oh, nice, right. nice trade. Right. aiming for you. Right truck two. They're heading on the wall. Nice shot. One more. Nice. Wiper in bucket in front. Uh, bucket other side of tower. Oh god, I'm scared. He's got him. He's got him. Nice. Emily's down. No, not down. Oh, I got rollered. Down is in on the bottom. Down is in. I needed to hit one more shot, and I thought I was gonna hit it. Hammer on tower. Nope. Dead. Yeah. What is that? Oh, Bucket weak. Got him. Oh, okay. Sultana blue. Dooley's dropped left. Tower. I think I've got. Uh, oh. on the tower. You got this? They're having. Nice. Back, back at tower. Oh my god, I can't hear my shots. Oh, I tried getting behind the tower. I cannot save that Fia. I'm sorry. I got one. I'm done. Really? I like how we I'm see not. say backs because we're League of Legends players. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my respect has gone way down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm telling you, if, if if Splatoon never ends up not panning out, I'm making tutorials on League of Legends. I got, really the I got the I got the roller. Uh, uh, Hit it with the roller. Bucket on tower. One jumping on. If that. It looked like the arrow rotated to the other side of the tower as they jumped in. And if that had actually happened, I would have been so upset. Oh, Tetra's in mid. Got him. Roller going up our truck. Roller behind our truck. Oh, I didn't mean to drop there. Got him anyway. Got him. One on tower. Got him. Oh, uh, Jen. I mm -hmm. recorded a bunch of videos from my perspective, so if you ever need a doc, I'm going to send that to you. Alright. I just... Alright, uh, Tetris are hurt. Got Tetris two in somehow. the corner. They're on the tower. Nice. Got one. It's a weak... Oh. I don't think this is a safe jump, but we'll do it anyway. Eh. Eh. It's Wiper in front, and they're all spawning in, they're all spawning in. I got Roller. You're outnumbered. Wipers hurt. They jumped off putting, tower. They're not putting anyone in front of tower. They're all behind it. Got two. Got one. Roller left of tower. Got him. I got bucket. I should be in front of tower more. I got wiper. Bucket's going to tower. Bucket's pushed to tower. Hit him once. He's weak. Got him. Yeah, yeah. down. That's a that's a mood. Oh, GG. Woo. That was a high forgetting us, game. Forgetting how to speak is a very mood. I forgot how to drink water earlier today. That was an experience. <laughs> wow, that was intense. Now, let's see what the objective is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it do be like that.
much for us. I haven't played a serious game in like a week and a half. What do you mean it's not fair to give squids man portable anti tank systems? Shoulder shoulder mounted rocket launchers? Those are totally reasonable to to bring to a firefight like this. And there's a couple of them. <laughs> Some people are bringing literal tanks, so be fair. Oh, also they're 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 rocket launchers that uh are reloadable that you can just like fire three times for some reason. It's got three, three, three like, slots on it. It's a sideways loader, you see. There's, there's a <laughs> portable airstrikes as well. Portable airstrikes? That's true. Yeah, backpack airstrikes. <laughs> They're actually designed after surface-to-air missiles, but they just, like, curve back down. <laughs> The missiles are like, wait, we're not being I useful a jump. here. Let's go back down now. Oh, that's a curling bomb. Oh, roll around. Okay. They got me. Okay. I'm not used to playing the chargers, so. With chargers are against chargers. Roll around my out. One's going up to our truck. This is a roller. Got him. They place big bubbler. Right. I am going. Oh. One in the corner. Nice. Dead. That was the 3v1. Roller on tower. Got him. I'm down to charger. Charger left. Traded roller on right. <laughs> charger down. There. Primarily so the roller can't sneak up on us. Oh. Rollers. Got splatter shot. Nice, that's two. One below. One sharking. Uh, I don't they're know where the they're corner. sharking now. Yeah, they're there. Got him. Charger, I'm, well, I'm pushing them. Got one. Charger's looking at me. Oh, oh Charger's on out. Charger on out. They're going up to our truck. Our truck. Or their truck. Their truck. Ours or theirs? Theirs. My bad. Directors are hard. Okay. Oh. On our truck now? Ah. Shark and I got him. Couldn't stay there forever. One's on tower. They're hurt. They're got me. Nice trade. Oh. Thanks. I didn't even know they were there. <laughs> Well, that was one way to find him. <laughs> hey, every uh, roller got me mid. If you don't don't admit it was an accident because it worked. <laughs> it's ever oh. an accident, but it works. It's <laughs> it was an intentional accident. Exactly. There I accidentally missed. A roller. I broke. Bigger. <laughs> I'm marked though. Oh, Prezuka. Yeah, for snipe. Charger down. I got charger. Focus tower. Nice. I got, uh, oh, spotter shots on ouch, spotter shot on ouch. Yeah, I backed up. They're going up to their truck, their truck. Oh, uh, someone's flanking our side. Uh, roller in mid, roller in mid, got him. I don't like my anchor being Not an like egg. specifically for the, uh... <laughs> my oh my ouch. Oh wow, they got my super draw. Got splatter shot. We're two down. I got roller. Split. split, be careful. Uh, other roller and ouch, other roller and ouch. Oh, my other roller on right going to mid on tower. Roller's down. One dropped on me. Got him? No, I didn't. Now I got him. I did. Roller dropped right. Oh, two ro both rollers on ouch, both, both rollers on ouch. They're going up, they're both going up the truck. Oh yeah, Jem, does it matter whether you hit the top or not? Uh, the the, the yes. top is a weak point, it does more damage. Oh, it That's does? Yeah. I I've, I've always been aiming at the little, like... The middle thing is also a weak point. 
Yeah. There's one on top of one of Yeah, a weak point, not the weak point. Roller, uh, roller on top. A spotter shot on the left. Got him. Or they got him. Roller still on tower. Oh, that didn't kill him. Darn. Roller mid, sharking. Nice. One left truck and one bottom right truck. I oh, know. Yeah, that was. Good okay. shots. Thank you. Roller on their truck. Got him. Nice. Uh, spotter shot right. Spotter shot right. What? That didn't trade. Ugh. They sidestepped me. Oh, uh, they got me. They're right below tower. Yeah. Alright, just play All defense right. here. Just, yeah, stay safe. Oh, God. Okay. Roller, on, roller on our truck. Roller on our truck. They're Good dead. Shot. Uh, One underneath, bottom right. Spotter shot below. Shot is down. Taking tower. I got all of them. Nice. Is E leader the insides of a ballpoint pen? No, it's a, uh, a gas, gas, um, pump. gas pump. Yeah. Get it? Cause like a liter of gas. The ballpoint. Oh, the ballpoint's a ball. We're we're Americans, Fia. We don't understand yeah. your your metric, uh, your metric occult magics. <laughs> Apologies, I forgot that none of you use liters. <laughs> No wonder you guys aren't charger names. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to actually stop there because it's about time to get going with the VOD review. Um, so thank you y'all for playing. Uh, we we will probably, uh, I don't know, we'll figure out what we're doing after this. Um, but right now I'm going to switch things over. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Um... Ari, remind me, did you uh, send me a, a code? Or, yeah, you did send me a code. Okay. I did. I did. So we'll go and get that loaded up on the computer. Thank you for the games, Jeff. Um, yeah, GG's. GG's. For letting me play with y'all. Yeah, you of course. Uh, oh, this one. Oh, also, Fia, I use your technique for... Uh, Making, uh, moving through the keyboard faster now. The trick is you use both sticks. Um, because you get a separate input and it's not like you have to go right and then back to neutral and then right and back to neutral. You can go right, 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 right. And while the other one is resetting back to neutral, you can press it on the other one. Clever little optimization there. Even though you get some uh, extra inputs sometimes. All right, so we've got a replay loaded up. There it is, Hammerhead Bridge, Rainmaker. It's a, such a such a lovely, such a lovely uh, mode that you've chosen to play here. Okay. <laughs> you say Let's that, but I have the best luck with beacons on that map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is a pretty good spot. There are some really blind corners. Well, <laughs> um, definitely wasn't expecting that to be what was on screen. Um, so <laughs> I am going to share my screen with you on Discord real quick. And we'll scoot that out of the way. And hopefully, let's uh, scooch some things around. I want to just see if I can get uh, Epic Pen to show up here. I don't think I can when I'm streaming, but, uh, oh my god, Epic Pen, where'd you go? There you are. You're in the most invisible place. Um, scribble, scribble, scribble. No. Sadness. It does not show up on stream. <sighs> oh, well. We will have to make do without. All right. So, uh, here we go, I guess. Are, are those the shoes that you wear? Yes. 
a All Marina right. amiibo shoes. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, and also, can you see in Discord now? Yes. Awesome. Um, that way, there's less stream delay. Okay. So, looking at comps, uh, you've got a very short-ranged comp aside from the E-Leader. Um, so, it's going to be a little bit on the trickier side to take fights up front. Um, you might need to play around, like, your E-Leader's sight lines and try to set up fights for them instead of... Uh, going in super hard because like something like a tetras is, is really hard for every weapon on your team to deal with uh they can just back up from a fight immediately and be out of range for you to hit them but be in range for them to hit you the mini is also going to be a huge problem you're going to need to like shark that to get it down um and it's especially even the, the zap outranges everything except the octobrush and what's most unfortunate for you is that you don't even have like a bomb like the NZAP does, or the, the uh, junior does to try and uh, poke at them with. You've got to just kind of work your way in really honestly here to, to make it work. So um, this is a rough team comp for you to end up in. Let's see how this goes. Just so you know, me and my friends, we were on voice chat with each other. So we might not always do the keypad communications. Okay, so so this is you and some like friends of yours that are all playing together. Yes. Cool. Okay. W would you like me to talk then about like coordination and like things that your teammates can be doing? Or yeah. is it Okay. Um I didn't know if you like played with them regularly or if this is just like for you to get some games in, but uh that's um, that's something we can add to the VOD review a little bit here. The uh, the E leader, uh, he and I are on sister teams for our Discord server. Okay. Um, and he he is also um, my team's coach. I had scheduled this with you before uh, he became a coach, and I. Uh... <laughs> I see. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> And the, the uh, Octobrush and the Junior are newer members to our server, and uh, we were just playing together. Cool. All right. Yes, the cat is uh, fiending for attention. He's still got uh, an hour and a half left before he gets food, though, so this might be a pain in the butt. Okay. Um, so it looks like you just dropped a beacon there, I think. Yeah, okay. Drop it right there. Um, from here, um, the, the rest of your team is way out in front of you. In, in fact, the E-leader is even way further out in front of you. And what I'm worried about with the positioning is that um, you're taking longer than you need to to get further forward so that you can have an impact on the game again. Um, unless you're, you're going for another beacon placement or something. But if that's the case, then your team really doesn't want to be contesting the pop without, like, an extraordinary circumstance like getting a whole bunch of picks because um, you are the best dps that can attack the rainmaker shield uh i think in the game possibly it, it's between that and the sploosh i'm not sure which one it is um but like those two weapons shred the rainmaker shield better better than any other weapon so if your team is going for pop they really really want you beelining straight ahead ignore the beacons ignore everything just get on the shield as fast as you can and get into a dodge roll so you can do the max DPS. Cat, get off. <laughs> you do not get to attack me. <laughs> there. Like, but you've been ignoring me. <laughs> so now you're going to get not ignored by the hundreds of people watching us. Is this, this what you wanted, Cat? Is, is, is this captivity what you desired from this? He's tensing to try and get out. There, he's trying to, he's trying to get away. But... This is his, his punishment. Okay, there he goes. Goodbye, cat. Now, he almost kicked over my mic as he was doing it, which wouldn't have been very nice, but... Okay, anyway. Um, so, if you're going to go for pop, you, the duelies, definitely want to go and be the, the first person on the pop, if at all possible. Um, if you're not going to go for pop, then... Um, your teammates probably shouldn't be pushed up as far as they are um, to try and contest it. Um, you do have a really good comp for popping it because you've got the junior with the multiple bombs there. 
uh, and you've got the the dapples, so both of those are going to be really helpful. But uh, if you're not going to use all of those resources to go for it, then you want to you know tell everybody, okay, instead of going for pop, be painting up elsewhere. Because um, putting some of your resources, but not all of them, on the pop is a recipe for them getting the pop and splatting you with the pop. Uh, in okay. this case, your E-leader actually did end up getting a pick, and that probably would have allowed you to get the pop even more easily. Um, but as such, uh, just like in the general case, you want to like make a more binary decision about whether you're going to go for it. So we do end up getting pop. Two of them go down. Uh, one of them was it was sniped, and then I think the other one goes down to the, the pop or something. Um, everybody in this game is positioned really far forward. Um, the the E-leader is up in a position that I usually see like a heavy or a mini take. Um, the ball point on their team is close enough to get killed by the pop. Um, so like everyone's really, really crowded around mid here, which is probably good for you. Um, but the issue is that because you weren't in already, you're not able to capitalize. Like, if you were already at, like, the mid block here and kind of peeking around the corner, you would be able to close distance on this mini and be able to, like, shark them and take them out. Uh, but because we're backed up this far, they should, in theory, be able to zone us out uh, like they do here. Um, if you're going to approach a weapon with longer range than you, you need to be using cover to do it. Um, standing in an open sight line like that is just going to get you shot every time. So what you want to be doing is beelining for the middle block so that whatever side they're on, you can just run around the corner and have cover in between you and them at an equal rate of speed. Um, if you have to take a wider turn around the block, then it's easier for them to peek you. It's just like a, a geometry thing. Um, so I, do you understand what I'm saying or should I draw it? I should probably just draw it. One sec. I don't have um, a drawing. Okay. Uh. Oh, hello there. That is that is our stream. How lovely. Okay, so this will be this and here. Oh God, that's right. That is that is an infinite loop. Um, how do how do how do. Okay, you know what? I can still. I have a plan. Because I don't actually need this to be uh, on the screen to be able to doodle. So I'll just minimize everything. And then, cool. Okay, so here is Box. And here is you. If you try to go around the box in this direction and they take this position, they need to walk this far to be able to shoot you well, you need to walk this far to hit them. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you go around the box like this, if they, first of all, if they take this position, they should be scared because you are dualies and you dodge roll and you splat them before they splat you because you have a faster kill time. Um, but another thing is that when you come around the corner, you only have to go this far. Um, or if you come around this corner, you have to only have to go that far instead of going this far to be able to see stuff. Okay, that's a fair point. Uh, yes, I do play... <laughs> oh my god, everyone's looking at all the games that I have, yes. Um, <laughs> I am a Monster Hunter World player. Okay, okay. So... So they are at an advantage right now, and you want your junior to be getting out of there. Um, in a, a 3v1 situation like this, uh, with, with Kara shooting the way that she is, she's very likely to get spotted and just splatted. Now, the end zap seems not to have noticed. But yeah, even then, um, this kind of baits you into a bad fight. Because um, you're like, oh wait, my teammate's fighting, I need to help them. Uh, but this is a fight that your teammate should absolutely lose every single time. And by the time you get there, they've already lost it. And so instead of being there all at once, you go in one by one. Um, so that's more of a thing where you want to recognize that Kara is in a 1v3 situation and that they are unlikely to survive it. And that you want to be careful and only go in 
only to commit to dropping off a ledge, for example, if um, Carrie's going to be able to stay alive long enough. Okay. So I, w I would say, you know, the, the, the positioning there, like, you are less at fault for going in to try and help her in that position. Um, she just didn't want to be there in the first place. Um, but uh, what you can do is recognize that she is in a 1v3 in the middle of enemy ink on a junior against weapons that outrange her um, and decide, uh, I really can't help you with that one, friend. All right, so... Okay. So we've jumped in to the beacon, and we're looking at the Rainmaker to see what its progress is. And in the meantime, we get a ju uh, jump in, or not a jump. The Tetris just push up on the right-hand side. Uh, now, you are at a numbers advantage by the time you drop here. So taking fights isn't out of the question at all. Um, okay, we're not at a numbers advantage anymore. Now it's even. Uh, but we see the Tetris here. Good dodge rolls away. That gets taken care of, and now we can turn our attention to the Rainmaker. In fact, by the time you disengage from that fight and they Reef Slider in, I might actually mm -hmm. have just turned my attention immediately to the Rainmaker because I know that that Reef Slider is going to keep my team busy on the left, and trading with the Rainmaker here will at least uh, stop it. The Tetris are going in on their own against two of your teammates. They, they have a pretty good shot of handling that. But if the Rainmaker is able to slip by while all that is happening, while you're 3v1-ing the Tetras, that allows this to happen. Because uh, you are the only person who is in between the Rainmaker and the goal at that point in time. And so that's going to be a little bit more important to, to take care of. Even though, you know, the Tetras are a threat to the rest of your team. And as soon as you take out the Rainmaker, that's the first thing you snap your attention back to. All right, so we've got three players up. We've got some control now. Um, I don't know if you spotted this as you were just turning the camera around, and maybe it was also different because the camera smooths in this spectator mode. So maybe this isn't exactly what you saw, but down to the lower right, you see someone fire a couple of shots. So somebody is looking at this block. You see them again there. Um, so somebody oh, yeah. is probably looking to climb up the block and get up there. So what I would do from this position is pre-fire just a little bit over the side of the block. You don't want to get baited too hard into standing and shooting there. Because what they might also be doing is they might be under the grating that's on the left, waiting for someone to shoot at that, and they might shoot back up at you. But they do start painting it a little bit there, and okay. They don't end up going for it, primarily, I think, because your Octo Brush drops down and threatens them. But uh, that was definitely something that they were thinking of and something that they were painting to make it a possibility for them. Okay. All right. So we've got two down. We've got special. This is a good look. Uh, what I would probably do, actually, is save that special until we've dunked first checkpoint. Because uh, if we use it once we've dunked first checkpoint, then the Rainmaker Carrier has the zoomies, and we can just run as far as we possibly can off of this. Um, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe... maybe cause it, I'm debating, you know, maybe this is still the right time to use it because then we get to the checkpoint faster. It's just a matter of, like, whether we still have it once we're able to pop it again and pick it up again. Okay. Because uh, you, you, the, the checkpoint is pretty guaranteed at this point. It's what comes after it that you would need the speed to be able to get. Now, hmm, I don't know. It, that, that would be a good strat, I guess. Um, saving it for afterwards if you weren't down by a lead of four. But the extra speed, like, you're not going to be getting lead anytime soon, and so the extra speed is unlikely to be able to help you get lead. So I think actually using it before so that you can get it to checkpoint quickly and then get up on the plat is probably the better option. So I take it back. But... Okay. The, the, the yes. thinking behind running a Tacticooler in Rainmaker is you're using it for the movement speed. You're using it to get really, really fast pushes when you're the Rainmaker carrier. Um, and so as soon as like you've got a, a hole broken in the defense, you just zo zoom really fast into that and get points scored very quickly. Um, and right now, because uh, we dropped on defense earlier... 
Um, the enemy team already has such a big lead that you need to KO, and so you kind of need to be slow, playing the slow, steady push to win this game at this point. Uh, you're not going to be able to wipe them and just run it all the way straight to the lead. Um, even if you wipe them, they're going to be dropping down before you get to the, the enemy pedestal. You're going to need to wipe them twice. Um, so you do need the staying power. You want to you know, be doing things like getting beacons in their base and uh, making it possible for your team to stay in there uh, even after the enemy team has respawned back in. Okay. Okay, nice. That's two down. Just the zap. We need to find out where that zap is immediately. Because um, at this point, they're definitely sharking somewhere unless they've gone down. Um, so at this point, the, the call out that I'm making is where's the zap? Where's the zap? Okay, Zap is down and respawning right now. But that should mean that they're in here by the time we get up. I do see someone to the top left around the, the pedestal. So I think that that's probably where they're at. Um, that's probably something we should have pushed harder. Uh, oh, okay, Zeph d does push it and then just goes down, I see. Um, but with only one player on the map you can secure yourself a stagger by just running them down because they weren't making an especial effort to run away. Um, so that, that player becomes an immediate target for everybody on your team. Um, but uh, Zef does go for it, does end up just getting taken down, and the Tetris are able to dive in on it. So good job getting that pick. I like the positioning here. You move up past them. Good job, good job. Uh, what I would do immediately after getting that player, and this, this might just be that you didn't know that the mini was there, but I would want to roll forward behind the pedestal so we get this player here and now you can see on the right there are splashes on the right you know there's a player there so what you do initially is the right option you chase down the mini here but from here now that or no sorry that's the ball point you chase down the ball point and the mini's firing you now the quickest path to safety is actually to roll forward into the right to get behind the pedestal because um, that okay. puts cover in between you and the mini. Um, and if they keep fighting you, I mean, they're facing the wrong way. So somebody's just going to shoot them in the back. So that should get you to safety pretty quickly. And I don't know, maybe you're able to spawn camp somewhere after that or something. Or maybe you get back at the mini. Um, but they had an opportunity to splat you there. And they do, do eventually find it because you're out in the open giving them a sight line. Good shark by yeah, Zeph. I, I love the, uh, the beacons coming in. And you were going to say? I was just, uh, I, the, the share screen on the Discord. Oh, uh, it's, not it's not working. My bad. Um, so I'm watching the YouTube, uh, uh, stream. And, uh, I was just going to say when the, when the mini got me, my, I had run out of ink just then. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> um, so we'll back up just a second. Cause you should be able to see it in Discord now. Okay, yeah, I see it in Discord. Um, so it's right here. Um, because... So by the time you get this splat, they're already firing shots, which means you don't have initiative on them. And you don't have them in your sight, so for all you know, they're out of your range as well. Um, so what I would probably want to do here, even if... I think I'm in range, is still roll behind the, the pedestal um, because they're hitting their shots before I'm hitting mine. Uh, so even if you can't roll, you can probably just drop into squid form and swim forward and keep yourself safe there. Because, uh, the yeah, you definitely swim to your back right there. Um, so that would have been the, the direction I would go instead. So Zeph with a great shark here. And you might still be able to keep the Rainmaker where it's at. Not quite, unfortunate. Uh, you you want to be ready to roll in this case. Um, just they, they were already on top of your teammates, so they're probably going to be on top of you. Um, and what we need to do right now, as soon as we see, oh shoot, they're painting the Rainmaker shield, is start painting it yourself. Because again, you are the strongest Rainmaker painter in the game right here. Uh, and at this point, your teammates are going down, and it's probably best to back off. Great job backing off there. Looks like you went for a beacon and weren't able to place it. Um, maybe like substrafed by accident instead of letting it place the whole way. 
Yeah. I, I don't remember if it said my I had too little ink and that I couldn't place it, but I, uh, I did try and it didn't work. Mm. Um, so from here, you know that there's someone above you. There's not like a clear numbers advantage on the map, but you also don't want to just like leave yourself out in the open because of your range disadvantage. So what I'd probably do from here is uh, get your beacon down in the corner and then, oh yeah, there's a, there's a bomb there. But then maybe just get back to it after you've triggered the auto bomb. And what you could potentially do is place the tactic cooler to hem, you, hem yourself into the corner here so that it's really hard for them to hit shots on you. Um, that would give you the move speed buff so that if they let you, you can just take the Rainmaker and run. Um, it would make it so that even if you get splatted, you have a very quick jump back in. Uh, so that's an idea. Uh, the jump out of the ink to try and avoid the auto bomb actually makes you move a little bit slower, and it's part of what gets you caught up here. Um, so you try to go in. Uh, are you trying to dodge roll with the jump? I was, I was, I was trying to do the squid roll. Oh, I, okay. But you didn't have the angle. Up. Got it. So, no big deal there. Just a little technical flub. Nice. And your teammates get three. Beautiful. Uh, so now we want to just go grab Rainmaker. Um, yeah, pop that. Let the Rainmaker get it. Perfect. There was someone to the right of you uh, that could potentially drop in behind you and go after the Rainmaker here. There was. I didn't see him. <laughs> so there are shots over on the right, and there's a, a charge going up from the mini. And then you can see that they're still over there around the corner as you move this way. Oh, okay. So we'll show that one more time. Uh, someone's asking what rank this is. This is actually Anarchy Open. Um, so it could be a mix of ranks. I mean, any, anything I could myself, be a mix of ranks, I guess. Mm -hmm. any, I myself was an A+. Uh, Kara was a, Kara's A+. I think Zeph is A, and Potato is S+. So I... I don't know how that would impact the, the ranks of the people we were playing, but the ranks of us as we were playing this match. Alright. Honestly, better that you took those shots than the Rainmaker Carrier did, because they were able to get across. But, uh... What we need to do at some point here is break through, and that's really hard for this team comp to do. Um, you have Big Bubbler, which is a defensive special, which is going to let you hold ground, but not necessarily let you push forward any better. Um, it doesn't, like, it, it forces the enemy team to come to you if you need, if they need to contest that space that the Big Bubbler is in. But the problem right here is that. You guys need to push all the way to pedestal. And so the big bubbler is going to be a really difficult tool to use for that because it doesn't like let you just walk forward. It lets you stand still and be able to fight stuff. Um, so that's not helping you push forward that much. Tacticooler, I mean, it gets you back into the match faster, but it doesn't let you get forward on the objective line. You know, it doesn't let you push through the enemy team's defenses. Um, so that's not helping with that. You've got Zipcaster, which is kind of conditional. Um, it can go in and get some picks, but if it's the only thing going up there, then it's very vulnerable. And then you've also got a Wave Breaker, which is, again, all going to control the area around you, but not let you push further forward, especially on an E-Leader, which is going to be very risk-averse. It's, it's not going to want to push super far up when it places that. So none of your specials help you get forward very much. Um, you can poke with bombs from the junior, and you can zip cast her in, but that's about it for trying to push in against longer-ranged weapons. Um, I think what's happening here isn't so much an issue of, like, mechanical skill or anything. It's just your task of pushing the Rainmaker further forward into enemy territory 
is very difficult because of the, the combination of weapons that are on your team. Um, so something like a 52 gal would be a huge benefit to this team. It lets you have a special that pressures people at distance and also has a wall that it can use to slowly ratchet its way forward on the map. Um, even something like a, a splatter shot would let you fire Zuka shots up there. Um, something like a squeezer could potentially help you get some picks and the Zuka would also be helpful there. Um, Dually Squelchers won't help you push up really hard, but they will at least give you a little bit of range so you can protect the frontline weapons as they try to push up. Um, th there are a bunch of different ideas here, but like the, the, the combination of like this many short-ranged weapons plus the E-Leader um, and the, the specials that you guys have are making it significantly more difficult to push uh, than you would see on something like a, a meta team comp. Um, Something like, you know, your, your sloshing machines, your, your splatter shots, your 52 gals. Um, those weapons don't have this same problem. And so it's something that when you're team comp building, you want to think like, okay, how do we push forward? What, what weapon lets us get forward? The, the dualies help us stay in, the, uh, the dapples. The junior helps us stay in. The brush can distract. But what can actually, like, push us forward into the enemy team? And that's where the like the booyah bombs and the tenta missiles would come in handy. Absolutely, booyah bombs, tenta missiles, um, other main weapons with more range would also help a lot. <laughs> All right. So the enemy team doesn't necessarily have to push here. Um, if they do push into you, that's phenomenal, because then you get to just defend right away. Um, but what a smart team is going to do here is they're actually going to eat the clock. Um, they're going to just make you guys push into them instead. Um, you guys need the Rainmaker more than they need the Rainmaker right now. Um, now I guess what you could do is wait out their clock, because they only have 32 seconds before they get splatted, but... Um, ideally, you would like to be able to grab it, get splatted, and still have another opportunity to grab it again before the game ends. Um, so let's let's back that up for a second. So right now we've got the entire enemy team out in front of us. Nobody's been splatted. Um, and you're the furthest member forward. So if you step forward in their line of sight, you're the first person they're going to see. You're the first person they're going to deal with. All of their firepower is going to get launched right at you right away. Um, <laughs> what you probably want to be doing here um, is letting your junior player camp with bombs and like protect the right ramp and have you maybe try to flank around the left and get in from mid at them. Um, that way... You have a way to engage them before they see you. Um, going straight forward at them, the Tetras outrange you here, the Rainmaker outranges you here. As soon as you try to get on top of them, they just back up, Rainmaker shot takes you out. Um, if you come in from the left side, though, that splits their attention. Some of them have to focus on your Junior and your Brush, and some of them have to look at where the e leader's aiming, and then some of them have to look at you coming from a hard angle on the left. Um, and so if you're able to coordinate that with your team, that's probably your best shot of getting in there and quickly breaking this defense. Uh, but again, that is also a part of the comp problem. Just if you're a 52 gal, you can put a wall up on the top of that ramp and you can walk right up to the edge of that wall. You can shoot those Tetras and the Rainmaker shot just bounces off your wall and does nothing. Um... So it's like that sort of um, ability to either stay in the fight or have enough range to take the fight quickly before, you know, they're able to back up. Because um, the disadvantage of the Dapples is that you need to close distance so quickly um, before you've just lost the advantage that your kill time gives you. Um, like, yes, on one hand, your weapon splats really quickly, but you have to also factor in that since they're in range of you before you're in range of them, 
um, their range can cancel that advantage out if they start firing as soon as you're in their range. Um, so the way to counteract that if you're going to stay Dapples, because, uh, like, obviously, like, I know that you're a Dapples main and you're going to stay on the Dapples, um, and if your teammates aren't going to play the 52 and you're going to stay with this comp, then what you want to do is find a flank angle, find cover you can shark behind. Um, you, you need something that's going to let you close the distance on them before you actually engage, before you draw their attention. Okay. Was there somebody up there with you? Is that what I saw? Yeah, there's definitely someone right here on your jump. And I guess they just don't see you? And they run away? That's bizarre. Um, that zap is definitely should have just splatted you there. And it looks like they didn't, didn't even notice you were there. Did you notice the zap? Uh, we had troubles locating the zap. Um, we kind of thought maybe they had... The zap player might have had some net connection issues. Hmm. Because every time we, any of us, were splatted by, uh, got the thing saying we were splatted by the zap, they were not near us. So, um, like, they're definitely up here, though. I, I don't think, like, them being up here is, like, a lag teleport or anything. They just walked up there, could have seen your jump and didn't. Could have stayed up there to help paint for the Rainmaker and clear this area out and didn't, and instead decided to drop down into mid. Which is a very perplexing decision. I don't know. Um, this is just like a thing with knowing your weapon's range and stuff, but... Uh, and, and by range, actually, I hear I'm meaning roll distance. So, like, as you approach the Rainmaker, you start rolling from far enough back that even if you use both rolls, you don't actually get all the way around the corner yet. Um, so instead of committing yet, um, cause here, now you're in trouble. Uh, so instead of committing that early, what you might've want to do was keep swimming until you're able to just dodge roll once and be around the corner. Cause then you'd be right on top of the rainmaker. And so that one roll would give you, you know, all the distance and all of the time you need to splat them. Um, but because you start rolling earlier, they realize, oh shoot, I need to put this shot right in front of me. They do that. They back up, they get you. Um, so you, what's happening is you're giving away your position before you need to um, and before you're able to get in range to splat them. Uh, so only reveal yourself once you are in range to actually use that really fast kill time. So they only have 10 seconds left. We do need to stop them, though, before they get the pedestal here. And that is, that is going to KO, unfortunately. Um, oh shoot, and I'm not able to back it up because we need to watch this entire cutscene because that's how the replay system works. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had gotten distracted by, I think, the end zap that popped up behind me and stopped focusing on the Rainmaker. And uh, I think. I think pretty much me, uh, me Kara, and Zeph had that same problem and Lee Potato uh, saw that the Rainmaker was moving forward. Yeah, that, that is something that can come, you know, people get better at with experience generally, but here is kind of my thought process um, for how I am thinking about the end, end game here. Um, so we're three down right now. Um, and I'm collecting all of this information now that I'm splatted and it's, um, it's the only thing that I can do is collect information. Um, so I'm probably opening my map at this point um, and spotting where people are. And one of the first things I'm calling is the numbers situation because there's a big discrepancy there. It's just potato. And so they need to know that they need to be in a position where they can stop the Rainmaker from moving forward. So that's my first priority. Um, the second thing is, I know that the Rainmaker only has 10 seconds, but you can run the Rainmaker really far in 10 seconds if it's just completely uninterrupted. Uh, and so the next thing I'm calling is, as soon as like anybody's up, oh shoot, it really is only the, the leader. And that, okay, and they took an angle where they could see it, but 
Yeah, if the, the junior were up before you, then I would be telling them to throw bombs, but like, yeah, this is completely hopeless at this point. Um, the only person who could have stopped it was Potato. They go down to the, the zip caster. Yeah, I, I thought for a second that the junior was up first, and so maybe they would have been able to throw some bombs in front of it, but yeah, as soon as uh, the three of you were down, it's game over. Really well played on their uh, Zipcaster player's part to go straight after the E-Leader, recognize the, the problem right away, and deal with it. All right. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the big things that I would say to summarize it all, um, by far most important stuff for you would be playing like you're a short-ranged weapon. Um, and by that I mean playing with an understanding that in order to get advantages, you need to be deceptive, you need to be tricky, you need to hide, you need to use stealth, and you need to use cover. Um, because as a general rule, like, over open ground, an Elyr wins every 1v1 in the game. Like, it's the longest ranged weapon, it can hit you first, and so... You get into its zone, you just get splatted. And there's not much else that you could really do with that. Um, but the reason that the game is not just, like, completely dependent on range and that short-range shooters actually have a place in the meta is that cover exists. Um, and so when you're dealing with some weapon that has longer range than you and something that you should always, always, always be doing whenever you are seeing an enemy player is trying to identify what weapon they have so that you know whether you have, uh, whether they have like a significant range advantage. The answer is usually yes. Um, you are playing dapples. You need to be in punching range to do damage. Um, but I don't know. Maybe maybe you can like kite back a sploosh or something sometimes. Um, in any case, you always want to recognize what weapon it is so that you know what range they have, where they can hit you from so that you know how um, close you can get safely before they're able to hit you. So that's step one. So if I see, you know, player right over there, first thing I'm doing is I'm scouting them. I'm using the cover here, and I'm notice what I'm doing with my camera here. I'm using the right stick to scope around. There is no way that they spot me while I'm doing this, and I'm getting information about them and how they're moving and stuff while that's happening. Then I, the second thing I'm doing with this player, besides getting information about what weapon they're using, is I'm trying to figure out what they're looking at and what they're thinking. Um, so let's say maybe I have a teammate over there. Hey, Bond, that's a, you're a teammate for now. Uh, thank you. If they're looking at that teammate, now I'm starting to kind of shark out here to see if I can get in range before they've spotted me um, or they've put down any pressure or anything like that. Um, if they're smart, what they do is... Before they go after my teammate, they make sure that this is all painted up in their color. And then they turn their attention to that teammate. Because then if they're right here and they see out of the corner of their eye that that paint is being undone, now they can back up and start, you know, using their range again and be like, oh, no, you don't get to get that close. Um, but if they just kind of hold forward and do this, like, ha ha, I'm going to get you. Um, that is your opportunity to use your ninja squid, which you definitely, definitely should be running as a weapon that short range, to get up and get behind them and get that pick. Um, so I want to see you using more cover, using more sneaky places, using more off angles. Like when you go and place down a beacon, from here you're like, this is my happy place. I am behind cover. Even if someone's <laughs> like right up over the top of you like this, they still can't hit you when you're down there. They have to go all the way out and do this to be able to hit you reliably. And at that point, you're in their range and you're a much, they're a much bigger target for you than you are for them. Um, like, imagine somebody is standing over looking at you like this, you know? Like, this is the biggest target you're going to get. Um, so from here, you have the advantage and you can just hit up and delete them like that. So they need to be really careful about how they push you around ledges like this so ledges like this are your friend, and you want to kind of sit around here and maybe, you know, move up to here and do this sort of thing and then pop out and get someone. Um, but if you swing wide around corners like we were seeing earlier like this, now anybody who's up here who has more range than you can actually hit you from there. Um, you're giving them angles that you don't need to give them. Um, okay. 
So you want to be doing stuff like this and keeping yourself under here and just like hiding around whatever walls the game gives you to work with and playing like there's a magnet in between you and the cover um, whenever you're trying to make aggressive plays. Now, there are some, some people who will say that the Dapple Duelies is basically just a support weapon. Um, and to an extent, they're kind of right in that the primary benefit that you're providing to the team isn't, like, your forward slaying power, although you do have that. And if somebody, like, goes into a position that you're sharking, you can very quickly get rid of them. Um, but you're, at best, area denial with your main weapon. Like, you're not necessarily a weapon that has the best tools in the game that you're going to necessarily choose over other weapons for the task of recklessly dodging into enemy ink. That's the Tetras. Or the task of, like, playing fast, forward-moving shooter weapon, because that's something like a splatter shot or a 52 gal. Um, you're not a weapon that is going to be kiting people, because that's something like dually squelchers, um, where you're trying to get people to attack you and then retreating. Like... The Dapples doesn't do that job any a lot better than any of these other meta weapons. What you're really choosing it for primarily is Beacon plus Tactic Cooler. Um, so you want to play around that kit and try and like play for those beacons whenever you possibly can. And then if someone does overcommit and gets into your range, if you're able to bait someone into trying to like get into this sort of a position or into this sort of a position where they're attacking your teammate, then you can definitely punish that, and you should definitely hone your skills on being able to set up those advantages for yourself so that you can use them when the other team messes up and gives them to you. Um, but if the other team is doing that, that does kind of require them to make a positional error. Like, if I'm a splatter shot and I see you, and I see that you're down there, I do not push that corner. I, like, sit up here and throw a bomb down at you or I get even higher up, so high up that you can't even reach and shoot down at that, you know? Like, you can't attack from up here. The, sh the splatter shot can attack from up there, so that's, like, an advantage that I'm looking for. Uh, you can't expect reliably, like, against, you know, the best opponents that they're going to give you these fights where they, uh, you know, expose themselves over this ledge and make them easy targets for you to just take out. So... What you're looking for that's reliable, that isn't like, you know, oh, if the enemy team gives me this, then that's just, you know, icing on the cake. What you're really looking for is to get those sneaky beacon placements, to get those flanks on backliners, and to have tactical or ready for your team whenever that's going to be beneficial for your team. And that's really what you're playing around. That Those are your weapon's biggest strengths, as opposed to those other things that, like, a splatter shot might do. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Um, oh shoot, I didn't think to write any questions down. <laughs> That's okay. Um, uh, if you if you don't come up with any now and you have more later, I I'm always happy to answer them over you know DM or whatever. But if you have anything now, feel free. Um, I don't think I have anything right now. Um. No, I don't. I don't have anything right now. So all right. I guess I'll I'll DM you. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Um, and any anytime like you've got a team together, or even just like a pickup, and you would like you know some extra feedback on that, uh, I'm I'm always willing to bring teams on the show. Like I would I would love to do that sort of a thing, um, because I don't get to talk about team coordination stuff enough. Um, I don't get to talk okay. about, like, what call-outs people are making and, like, how people are talking to each other, which is another aspect of the game that solo queue just doesn't test, and I can't talk about as much because I don't have enough of those VOD reviews. So, um, and this goes for anybody in chat, too. Like, if you've got a team and that team wants feedback, like, I, th there are definitely days of the week where I'm running a stream where I'd be like, you know, I could just play ranked, or I could have you guys on, like, and I'd rather have you guys on, so... That is definitely worth my time. Let me know if, if that ever happens. Um, happens to be um, yeah. something to be beneficial to you guys. That sounds like it'd be pretty great, actually. I know um, both my team and our sister team uh, are always looking for 
opportunities to um, practice together. Good, um, good. Yes, yes, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess uh, look for a possible message from either Tentacult or Monsters Inc. at some point. Awesome, sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Ari, for uh, coming on the show and uh, you know let, letting us do this on stream. I think that's always a valuable thing for people to see others learn. Um, and it also, it, I mean, it just takes a lot of humility to be willing to be criticized in front of hundreds of people online. Uh, so <laughs> thank you very much for that. And uh, I hope that you found it to be valuable and that you can bring stuff back both for yourself and for your teammates. Well, thank you very much for having me uh, on for matches as well. I uh, feel like I always improve the fastest when I'm playing with people who are better than me. So. Mm -hmm, for sure, for sure. Um, so thank you so much. Um, so I am going to take a quick break because I'm going to make myself a little bit of food. Um, so it should just be like a minute or so that I am away. Uh, and then I will come back. And I'm going to do a little bit of just like solo Anarchy Open on the Dapples uh, to try and showcase some of the things that I was just uh, talking about with Ari so that uh, maybe some of these ideas click a little bit more seeing them in action. Uh, but for the time being, I am going to be going and uh, taking that quick break. So I will leave you with a, a, a frog. Here is your frog. Enjoy him. Hey, frog. All right. I hope you have enjoyed your frog. Hi there, cat. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and figure out what I want to run on this. I'm thinking probably like swim speed, quick respawn, ninja squid, stealth jump. Yeah, this actually looks pretty good. I probably wouldn't use the, uh, the special charge and special saver if I were customizing this build more, but this is pretty darn close to what I actually want. Cat, you are between me and my food, and I'm not appreciative of that. 
If there is any hair in this bite of soup that I have right now, cat, it's all your fault. So this is this is the tail of the cat. He is in my lap right now. Um, unfortunately, I cannot raise the chair enough that you will be able to see his face from this position. Oh, oh, he did stand up just now. Do we have a Romeo sighting? Not quite. Oh, there. Oh, ears. Ah, oh, we were close. We were close. Hi, dear buddy. Mwah. I'm raising my knee up to try and get him to show himself, but he might just drop out of my lap. Oh, the, we've risen the chair. Ah, I'm trying so hard, chat. And he's getting so discouraged about standing up here because I'm moving so much. But I don't think I can get his face on, on cam. Yeah, there he goes. Ah, I'm sorry, cat. Sorry, chat. <laughs> sorry, cat. Uh, I did try. I did try. Are three subs of super jump on a stealth jump shoe too much? They are the absolute maximum that I would ever put on anything. Um, usually two subs is enough. A lot of people get by with only one. I personally definitely prefer to have two when I can help it. The only cooperative cat. Man, cooperative cats are the best. Chat is just cat in French. Yeah, yeah, same thing. I, I, I was thinking about that. When you're playing neutral in the beginning, how do you not give up your position as a front line when being pressured? Um... If you're directly getting engaged by a weapon with longer range, by a skirmisher of some kind, you do need to give up ground. Um, you do need to kind of let them walk forward a little bit. Like, if there's a sloshing machine paying attention, paying attention to me that's in range of me and I'm a splatter shot, I do not take that fight. Um, I need to back up away from that. And I need to find a different angle and I need to get back into st uh, stealth situation. I need to get back to where they don't know exactly where I am. Because in that situation, what's keeping them from just pushing in and running all over you is that they don't know where you are and you have a faster kill time. So they could walk around a corner and you could pop up and shark them. Um, your advantage is not being able to contest them across open ground. Your advantage is um, being a threat if they get, do get in range of you. Two mains of sub power up? Holy moly, those are some fast beacons. Um, let me take a quick look at what is being run on Sendu. Um, and I'll screen share this once I can get the windows set up properly. And actually, we want it to be coming through here and to be showing to be showing this. Ooh, that's zoomed way in. Let's fix that a little bit. Scooch, scooch, scooch. There's that, and we do this, and this is almost there. There, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, Dapple Dooley's hammerhead moment. Interesting. Okay, so these are two radically different builds. Um, what this one is trying to do is jump back into its beacons very quickly and just be a constant presence in the enemy's base. Because they've got the sub power up here, which will let them jump to their beacons faster, and then they're running 1.3 of quick respawn. 
So they're expecting to die a lot, but they're planning on jumping back in as soon as they do. Um, and that jump is going to be faster. And they're also, you can also tell they're expecting to die a lot because they've got a lot of special saver on. So that's interesting. Interesting that they've got a sub of uh, special power up. It's not what I would be expecting. I wonder what that one sub gives them. Then uh, Synapse is running closer to what I would expect a Dapples would want to run. The uh, Ink Recovery is an interesting call, but everything else there checks out in in my understanding. Um, here is another similar build to what Pika is running, where, again, you've got the main of sub power-up plus some quick respawn to get yourself in there quickly. No idea what the intensify action is for. Um... This wasn't the Dapples player that was running this on Rainmaker, was it? Bye. Hold on, let me see what the results are here. Um, two, three, one, second SAC. Okay, no, this is not the same player. Oh, they, they, this is Chinese. I'm, well, there you go. Um, so no, that's not who I thought it was. Um, there was a team that was running Dapples in a recent, uh, Rainmaker tournament in Japan. Um, and I'd be curious to see what they were running. I, I was hoping that maybe Gamba Wumi had posted the, uh, the builds. Why does it look like he's just eating milk with a spoon? This is soup. This is um, mushroom soup. So that's generally what we're looking at right now with the people who are trying to make uh, Dapples work. And this is uh, mushroom and barley. That's what's in this. With some other veggies. I'm almost done with the, the gem food stream, I promise. <laughs> Speed Speedrunning this. Rainmaker Cup, Dapples, had Comeback, QR, and Stealth Jump. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense. I have to ask the real question, is cereal soup? No. Um, cereal is uh, composed of different ingredients, and milk is not a broth. A broth is something that the containing soup is cooked in and lends its flavor to. Um, but the cereal generally isn't getting cooked in the milk. Soups can have milk, and that's not what I'm contesting. Um, what I'm contesting is that it's not being cooked, and that the cooking is not what's causing the flavor to come out of the ingredients into the broth. Oatmeal is a more interesting argument, but even then I would probably just say no. Counterpoint chocolate milk? That's not a counterpoint, I just addressed that. So, just because you put the Cocoa Puffs in your milk and it changes the milk to taste chocolatey. That doesn't mean that you've cooked a soup. <laughs> I 
What is the broth and oatmeal? It's it's actually just water. Boiling water. I think there's a much better argument, though, for oatmeal than there is for cereal. Cereal, I'm like, no, get out. Oatmeal, you may have a point. Now, nobody would think oatmeal is a soup if you were going to order that at a restaurant or something, because that's just not what they're thinking. And so I think that descriptively, the label of soup is not useful to describe it. But if we are going to define soup a certain way, then we could get oatmeal in maybe on a technicality. All right. Last thing I am eating, this is a cosmic brownie. They are amazing. I used to get these not from my mom when I was little, but because my friend's mom would give them one in their lunch and they didn't want them and they gave them to me. That was the life. Joined to hear something about soup. Uh, I was eating soup and people asked me if cereal was a soup and that's how the conversation started. If I get a good grade on the test, can I have a Cosmic Brownie? Yeah, you can have one right here. Here, take it. Grab it. You're not, you're not grabbing it. You're supposed to, you're supposed to reach into the screen and... Are you, are you gonna... Hello? Why? You said you wanted it. So, hmm. Well, okay. Mine then. I'm trying. Try faxing it to me. I don't have a fax machine. How old do you think I am? <laughs> I do really appreciate someone saying, your Squid School is really helpful for a new player like me. Thanks so much. But it feels a little strange to be reading that while, while this is what's happening on stream. <laughs> Telegram the brownie. Okay, okay. We'll deliver it in Morse code. Hmm. A React video on Dan TDM's Splatoon video? That could be interesting. Um, I don't want to get too deep into React content because while it is definitely interesting sometimes, it is also very fundamentally lazy content. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Ari. Man... Ari already paid me money <laughs> to have the Medify lesson. And now here she goes just donating $10 out of... That was, that was the entire cost of the session. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ari. That's very kind of you. The oldest piece of technology you own? Uh, I mean, depends on your definition of own, I guess, but... The apartment here is probably older than anything I brought into it. This place is built in like the 60s or something, I think. React streamers put minutes of work into watching other YouTube videos on stream and talking over them. Exactly. Improves in quality proportionally how much longer it runs runs for than what it's what is being react to. 
I'm not tracking, I'm not parsing that with my brain. I'm not figuring out what that means. It increases proportionally to how much longer it runs. So the longer the react content is, the better it is. I don't get it. Dealing with asbestos over here. I did receive paper that says that to the best of their knowledge, there is no asbestos here. Um, I don't know how hard they've tried to figure it out, but that is the only information that I am uh, legally mandated to obtain as a renter. So uh, hopefully that popcorn ceiling above me is fine. Don't legitimately belong to you? No, like, renting the apartment. Does that mean I own the apartment? Not really. Alright. We got a trade out of that, and we should be able to jump back into the beacon quicker than making it back. Same route as before. You know they're probably gonna respect it a little bit more. Oh no, they don't respect this at all. See how I'm hugging the wall there, and that's how I stayed safe. Oh boy, I did not recognize there was someone there. But fortunately, we win those. We play down. Where did this wave breaker go? Did it just die? And it just happened to be like the last tick that got me. That player's so dead. If they move anywhere near me. No, I didn't actually mean to grab that. I just wanted to use it to block stuff. Because now my stealth is gone. And this is actually probably a disadvantage for my weapon. Well, I got him eventually. Oh boy, I do not want to be there. <laughs> that is an Elia watching that line. That took a while for the shots to start hitting, and I was getting worried. Ah. <clears throat> so... Our team consists of three backliners, and then me. I am the only person who can do anything to push forward at all. I... Uh, and that's not to say that I can do that all that much for reasons we've discussed already. So, this is hard. Just get some, some jump points. Maximum beacon placement achieved! Now we strike fear in the hearts of our enemies by bravely running away into a bomb. Oops. Being harassed by my cat, she's learning from Romeo. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh. I really should have just dealt with the leader. Like, I needed to recognize much sooner that the player I was chasing was not in range nor going to be in range. They don't see it as beacon. Goodness me. Oh, this is the worst time for me to have started trying to take the zone back. Right as soon as I start painting, I look up and see that there are two down on our team. Now we're starting to get camped. And this is where this team really falls apart. We do not have any pushing power to get back in. Like, I don't have a bomb I can drop at these guys. They can just kind of poke me out. Oh, I didn't even put it down. Yeah, there's no shot. <clears throat> okay, well, definitely not opting into that team again. Um, Charger plus Hydra plus 
Tri Stringer. Um, that's just not giving this weapon a fair shake. <laughs> Why is Fizzy F Bomb considered so good? I'm not seeing it, just the randomness. Uh, it covers a lot of space. It takes up a lot of territory. It forces you to either take damage or back away from a wider area than something like a suction bomb does. Um, it's also really good specifically on the sloshing machine because it combos really well with the sloshing machine's damage. So you can hit just one or two ticks of fizzy bomb damage and then just one-shot someone with the main weapon. Um, so Fizzy Bomb, right now, to be clear, is good on Sloshing Machine, and that is it. Um, but it is insanely powerful on the Sloshing Machine, and so it's seeing a lot of use at the moment. Because uh, the Fizzy Bomb also synergizes really well with what the Sloshing Machine wants to do, which is control choke points with its really big hitboxes that you just can't push through as a frontline weapon. It, it makes itself a wall that's really hard to move past. Uh, it was the same deal with the Kensa sloshing machine in Splatoon 2. Um, sloshing machine is still seeing use in competitive play, like... It hasn't been nerfed so badly because of the fizzy nerfs that it's useless or anything like that. So notice here, we're taking this left-hand side. This is a beautiful spot to shark in, and unfortunately another teammate also wants to shark, which makes it uh, significantly more difficult for us to get anything done from here because we're not putting pressure on multiple areas. If I'd known that they were going to try and come in that direction, I would have gone to the other side. And I can't go there anymore, because that player is just going to take out the beacon, and if I were to jump to it, they would camp my jump. Good stop. Alright, we're going to try taking the right-hand side, even though I don't even know how I safely move there. This is just an insurance policy in case I die going here. I still can't get close enough to them. That's... Well, in a way, I am helping, because those two players aren't able to have an impact on the match, but unfortunately, we still lost the uh, fight in mid. Yeah, the brush is very reliably going. The other... Oh, my God. And that's the problem of dropping right. Um, as soon as someone's in there, I don't have a lot of cover um, in really any direction. I was going the other way. It feels a lot better. So this is still another team comp that I'm absolutely opting out of. So this is... Hold on. I didn't realize just how bad this team comp is. Holy moly. We have an arrow spray. Our longest ranged weapon is an octobrush. That was... And one of us DC'd anyway. Wow. What a game. Um, so what the game is supposed to do is make sure that the weapon range of the two teams is relatively even. That is not what happened there. We did not end up with an anywhere near functional comp. Um, so I'm making the, the dapples look even worse than they actually are. Do you have a suggestion on how to stop playing too far forward with a long-range weapon? Um, just keep them in, uh, keep them at max range. Always just try to be at max range. Um, if somebody uh, gets around cover, if somebody's like manages to break line of sight with you, do not chase them around the corner. Just keep your max range. Throw bombs out from under there. Maybe hit them from different sides or something. Why did I hit? Yeah. Stick with the team. I did a dumb there. Um, at least the arrow spray left. Like, that was probably the most 
heinous example of it, but we still would really do well to have something with at least midline range. Thoughts on Flings' main weapon? Oh, very good. Um, paints extremely well. Um, and the fact that it has the best special in the game lets it really use that. Uh, but on top of just missile farming, it is also very capable of playing the sharking play style that the Splat Roller is known for. So uh, maybe, I, maybe I just pair with the brush. Maybe that's the idea. Maybe I try to actually be a fighting pair with them. Beautiful. Okay. That's the idea if the brush ends up on top of me here. So we put Deepkin. Deepkin. They didn't watch me, so splat. And now Beacon. Actually, maybe Beacon. Yeah, Beacon. Because I'm worried about the player on, on mid potentially trying to cap his own. Oh my goodness, how did we let that happen? We had such an advanced map position. There's really no reason for that to happen except that we just didn't pay attention to what was most important on the map. Yeah. Oh. Beacon. Yeah, if the, the charger backs up there, I'm just not going to be able to chase them. So I just sat and waited to see if I could get information about where they were going to be. And it turns out they decided to make an aggressive play for some reason and just tried to drop in and splat me. Uh, and that's a bad idea against Dapple Dooleys for literally every weapon in the game. If I am in range, you are losing. The way that you beat me is by not being in range. Like, did you see how fast that crab tank went down? Dapple Dooley's DPS is something that you do have to respect. Feeding the ink vac is actually often a good idea. Um, if there hadn't been another player there helping them, I would literally have just sat there in turret mode because they could not fire the shot at me once they get it in time before they get splatted by the next three shots I fire. Um, that's what Hydras do to it. A Hydra will get a full charge and just fire the entire thing into the ink vac. It will fill the ink vac up, and then as soon as the ink vac is full, the next four shots are hitting it. And so it has those four shots time to either move or fire the shot and hope for a trade or something. And that shot is often dodgeable. Problem was, there was a teammate there, and so it got really awkward. Um, I also, you know, having dodge rolls have the capability in certain situations to just dodge roll behind them and try and get their back, and that's actually what I was trying to do, but uh, didn't end up working out. Tips for Hydra, I know the basics, but anything obscure. Um, don't be afraid to flank. Not something people see coming. Um, obviously, use your range on that flank. Don't just get right up next to them on the flank. But if you come from an angle they're not expecting and you're out of range, you're still safe. actually a really good jump on their part. Well, that didn't work. I 
I probably died in the next wave, breaker wave. Yeah, okay, that works too. Oh man, and we still didn't get zone cap off of that. Oh boy. Uh, we die? Yeah. Probably shouldn't have actually with the number of shots that they missed, but. Neither here nor there. Ah! Man. We've staggered pretty badly in this game. I don't have anyone who's anywhere near safe to jump to. I probably do have to jump, though, because we've only got 10 seconds. No way they just let me get the zone capped, right? Oh, they fight me. I get one. Wow, okay. I'd like to note that, that was entirely me painting the zone. I don't think anyone else really even helped that much with it. No, you want to see. Uh, yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. So there they use their range on me. Like, just because I'm around a corner doesn't mean I'm safe if they can get an angle around that corner and be out of range. We don't want to take really wide corners because of us being on those open sight lines when we do, but a longer ranged weapon wants to take those wide open sight lines on us. And me staying there, let them get that sight line. So that was a mistake on my part. Oh, I'm so dead. Unless... Oh, did you mess up? No, no, they still kept their range as they dropped. Oh, we've got to jump in. No time. Ugh. I still honestly feel like this could be going better than it is. I'm going to drop out and see if I can uh, get a team I'm happier with. Number one overall splatter with five is not not good for a game that uh, goes to... Well, it didn't go to time. That's true. Oof. Yeah, let's, let's try and uh, re-roll. Is series or open better? Well, it depends on what you mean by better. Um, series is for when you are trying to rank up. Open is for when you're experimenting or trying to play with friends. They, they are both better for different situations. I don't know what situation you're in. They should be of roughly equal difficulty between series and open. If that's what you're referring to. Yeah, that was pretty lazy of me on the shots. I got blocked by the Tacticooler. <laughs> 
Yeah, that wasn't the greatest plan. Ugh. I didn't really have much I could do at that point. They were guaranteed a wide open sight line because I backed up from away from the corner. Starting to take a little bit of notice of what I'm doing on this side. Not that they're especially worried about it, because they can just collapse on it. But if I can get some picks here. Eh, I needed to get more than that. Two down. And I've once again ended myself up in a comp with no aggression except for me. So nobody is able to push up with me. We're not able to get paint on the zone. I guess most I can do right now is wait for missiles to go off. Or wait for someone to feed in for a pick. Ah, not quite. We get zone though. Hopefully they recognize on my ouch. On my ouch. There we go. We're still too far back. Might as well give some beacons in places that they're likely to stand, because nobody else is gonna use these beacons but me. That'll keep the numbers advantage anyway, and it'll let us uh Oh nice, that's another pick. Move up a little bit, move up a little bit. We cannot stand behind the zone here. We need to take some space. And now, this is a huge problem for them. Well, that was, uh, that was awkward, but this is fine. We win the game now. I would just like to have a match where I have both a single frontline weapon and then some other weapon that has a little bit of range. I would like that combination of things so that we can play some normal matches and not have to either be hyper frontline dapple doolies or have no range to help us against something like an e-leader. Now getting a lot of good luck with the, the comps here. I want to thank you for making all the videos, because before watching I was hard, stuck, C+. Plus. Now I'm hard, stuck, B-. minus. <laughs> well, hey, that's progress, baby. <laughs> okay. Let's roll the dice again. Any second now. The Rothschilds preparing to send two arrow sprays to my team. Oh, my goodness. Bingo. Thank you for becoming a, me becoming a member, Gracie. Appreciate you. And Gracie already, uh, I think, reserved a, a Medify lesson as well. So, very supportive. Hi. I appreciate you. Thank you. The only person who can actually use Dapples right now is Love Star. Not I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Love Star is like a mid-level player. They're maybe like a little bit higher level than me, if that. But uh, they're definitely Dapples players who are pushing it a lot further than they are right now.
I definitely uh, placed a beacon earlier trying to substrate. And that's not even a thing. See, that's the advantage of the Dapple Dooleys when you can use them. If you get right on top of someone before they know you're there, where the heck did they go? Then you will never lose the fight. And, like, you can just 1v2 and stuff like that. But getting that position is so situational, so difficult. Um... It's so easy to counter. Man. I'm also being kited very easily here. Oh, dear. Sometimes you just jump into a bullet. Someone on the left, and this is really risky, because if they had seen that, then I would have just died because the roller would have hit over the top. Ugh. And that, that sloshing machine shows off what a ranged weapon is going to do. They're going to keep their range. They're going to put hitboxes in between you and them, and so you either back up, which only puts you further out of range... Or... Oh my god. There we go. You either back up, which puts you further out of range, or you run into their shot. Well, I got two of them. This game is hilarious. It, I asked for, for range plus frontline. Gave me the range and an e-leader. Can't complain about that. And then for frontline, it gave me two undercover brellas. Beacon was a bait. Okay, there. Hit twice. There we go. Ah. The roller does beat me there. I would beat it if I were able to hit them before I got into the big bubbler. Um, but because I have to spend time getting into the big bubbler first, their swing comes down on top of me before I get there. Alright, it is time to feed the cat, which we will do shortly. But first, we die to a roller. And potentially lose a game of Splatoon 3. This is a very difficult situation we now find ourselves in. I couldn't see anything. It is up to the undercovers. Wow, okay, we get we did get uh, a couple there. I just blamed the hitbox of the Trizuka on that. That was not me playing well. Oh my god, I still can't hit them. <laughs> At least with the Tetris, you can run that player down. Like, you have the mobility to move forward and actually get on top of them in time. Not with these. That does give us lead. Why did they wait there? What? Was, is that lag? It looks like they just stopped moving. Well, okay, we finally got it. Time to go feed the cat. Be right back. Alright. Hey, I got the, the two-star freshness thing. That's a 
as good a place as any to stop on the, the dapples here. Ooh, I apparently got stuff. Let's go see what stuff I got. Stuff. Oh, the Dapple Dooley's sticker. Okay. I'm not going to use that, but that's neat. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet range. I say that and I've got a splatter shot. I'm just like, oh, having this much range is so refreshing. <laughs> far are you from five stars on shot? Probably pretty far. Um, Cause I largely split my attention between this and the blaster. So they're pretty close to each other. Uh, this is closer than the blaster is now. The blaster was back here. So, still quite a ways to go. Let's run some of blaster, though. I don't get to run a lot of blaster, so I've got to run it when I get the opportunity. Hated weapon? I do not hate. Hate is the path of the Sith. I am no Sith. I am a muggle. Wow. I never remember to even mess with Fresh's fists. You know what? Let's let's have a learning experience together. What? How the heck does this thing even work? Um. Okay. So I'll register that. Uh. No, I don't. We'll register this on two, and then one will be the splatter shot build. Oops! I did not register it. Okay. So splatter shot, blaster. Then what else do I even want? Probably Tetris, I guess. Um, and for this, we run like this. Yeah, it's pretty close to it. So I'm gonna run this here. What? Oh, okay. It didn't show my character changing, so, I mean, show the finished. Obviously, I don't want to see the character taking the clothes off and putting that back on again, but it didn't show the new gear on them for a minute, so I thought it didn't register or anything. There was no sound cue. But then I realized, oh, wait, no, the, the gear actually has swapped over. What's going on right now? Um, I just finished uh, with a VOD review for Octo Ari, a Dapple Dooleys player, um, and played some matches on the Dapple Dooleys to kind of talk about how those weapons work. And now I'm going to go in and do uh, a ranked series. Oh, and I meant to do that on the blaster, and then I switched over to the splatter shot. Whoops. Oh, well. I forgot to check what mode it was, so... Rainmaker? Ah, I could definitely play... I could definitely play blaster on Rainmaker here. Once saw Tetris running drop roller, you have any ideas as to their thought process? They want to they wanna dodge roll more. Um, I don't think it's a good idea because you're more likely to get saved by um, stealth jump. 
Because what's going to happen at a high level is someone just puts a bomb on your jump, and Drop Roller doesn't save you from that. Um, so while if somebody knows you're there, Drop Roller is more likely to save you, um, them knowing you're there is worse than them not knowing you're there. And that's what you really want to have happen in the first place. Beautiful. How exactly does self jump work? Um, so there is a set distance that you have to be from the jump in order to see it. Um, so at a certain distance, it's just invisible. And then there is a spectrum between visible and invisible. So it's like very, very transparent at first. And then it starts to get more and more opaque. And the closer you get to it, eventually you can see it. Um, but you can account for that by just not jumping as close to the enemy team. Um, we'll stick with it, I guess. I was uh, going to play Blaster, but we did kind of just kick butt and kind of want to... See how far the team can go. Have a good kind of combination of range. Ah, oh, man, and I say that, and the blah blobber who is our range drops out. So we no longer have even a pseudo anchor. How's the squid schooling going? Going pretty well. How's the chibi going? Why do you prefer V Blaster over range? Um, because it's a frontline weapon. Range is a weapon that you need to play pretty passively with to stay safe. Uh, but V Blaster can just get up in their faces. It's a very different play style. Drastically different weapon. Oh, there's a second player here. Cool. Team ended up coming out on top of that trade. And we get another one because someone foolishly dropped off a ledge into enemy ink. <laughs> well, at this point, I'm the support because everyone else is pushed up. I was trying to squid roll and then the roller came up and splatted me before I could start. That player's dead. Yep. Notice how I'm doing the same thing using cover around this corner here? Because the people over the top had range on me, but if they can't hit me, then it's fine. It's still going fine, as long as we're not, like, losing mid-control. We need to not, like, get sniped. We do not push that. There is an A-leader watching us, and a roller with a bubbler set up. Careful, Dr. Shulk. I've just been drawing a lot of attention over here, and you do not want that attention. 
Ah. Uh, I guess my feet got painted by something. I was gonna keep swimming. Should have Zuka ready. Yes, we do. You were sharking there specifically to get the Rainmaker. Like, stop it before it gets checkpoint. Oh no, we lose lead for that. All the roller had to do is swing earlier. <laughs> it wasn't a hard shot to hit. There's a shark. We've got him now. All right. Well, we've still got opportunities here. We just need to make a really big push. So I'm going to flank in here and hope that the Rainmaker doesn't follow me. Leader down. Roller has to back up. No, don't come up this way. This is the slow way. We died this. That weapon does not have DPS. And I'm dead. Misjudged where the bomb was going to roll. Uh, okay, with that player dead, I feel confident jumping in. Take it this way, please. Thank you. I mean, not... Don't just hold forward, but, like, start moving it over to the right, because we're not getting anywhere on the left. Literally never go to the left up there with the Rainmaker unless getting up to that corner gives you lead. Um, it is by far one of the worst Rainmaker routes. It takes longer. It is less safe. Doesn't give you better vantage points over anything. It's just strictly worse in almost every way. They're just going to run it backwards, aren't they? I got a little overzealous about that, I will admit. It was not smart for me to just dive that. However, we did get two down. So, oh boy. They popped. Oh man, we need this pop. Check the president. Oh, man. Between the Raymaker and the, the defense. Okay, good job, Dr. Schultz. That was exactly what we, we needed you to do. Whew! That was spooky. They're dropping in behind it. Ah. Uh. I wanted to say thank you for all the great tips in your videos. You're welcome. Uh, I've been playing since Splatoon 1, but your stuff inspired me to start properly playing ranked, and I've managed to climb up to A rank the other day. Yeah, great job. Bye. Couldn't get Steve to X rank. In time! It would have happened. So. Oh, I was not particularly happy with how that went, because... We had the opportunity to stop their push where they got lead. And it was literally just like a roller sharking. And like, I get it if the roller's sharking and somebody comes around the corner and that you weren't expecting, but it's the Rainmaker. You can see them through walls. So they had all the time in the world to time their swing and get them as they came around the corner. And they just didn't swing in time. So they, they whiffed it and we lost the uh, lead from that. Because I think they didn't push any further afterward. They just played defense the whole rest of the way. So chances are we actually could have held the lead that we had at the time if uh, that hadn't happened. But then also we just lost like half the game due to trying to move it left. And that putting us at disadvantage. So <sighs> different game. Let's get our head in this one. This comp I really like. 
This comp doesn't have a lot of all holes in it. That was the worst play that could have been made there. They could have sharked me. They could have tried to pinch me. But that was the one thing that put them at a disadvantage against me. Ooh, careful, careful. Uh, yeah. They kind of did just run forward into the enemy team. Uh, but we have numbers right now. Trying to suppress, if not splat them. Um, 17's pretty good. Let's see if we can get anything more out of this. I don't know where they're... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's... It's down on ground level. All right. If I had painted first and then jumped, might have KO'd. So that's on me for bad Rainmaker movement, but we are still in a very good spot. Oh, Dr. Shulk. Let's go. Nice, 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 nice. Is that a pun on Dr. Shoals? I was trying to get enough for a Trizuka, but painting gave me away. Oh, I hope this doesn't explode. There we go. I feel safer. Let's sneak around here. Oh my god, I missed everything we run. Ooh. I died. Bad aim against the gal there. sit here and throw bombs. Oh yeah, please take it right. Please take it right. That would be so easy to zoop. Oh, all three in mid here. Ah, I'm probably dead. I needed to get on the wall and then squid roll backwards, and I tried twice, and it didn't work either time. which is smart of them. And we don't really have to do anything here, although it'd be nice if we got this. Darn. But, uh, yeah, we don't have to do anything except survive and be an obstacle. And eventually things will work themselves out. We don't want to overcommit to this. We don't need this kill. And that was the mistake that uh, Battle Cat made there. Again, we don't really need that. We just need them to not be able to push through this choke point. So if they're not stopping us from defending that choke point, we're fine. And just let the E-Leader take as many pot shots as they want. And we do not have to lose our lives 
before they get as many as they can. What weapons do you think will get nerfs buffs? I make no attempt at guessing what in the world is in Nintendo's heads. They are enigmatic, they are confusing, they are backwards in a lot of ways, they are geniuses in a lot of ways. They are a big bloated company with multiple people involved in any decision making process. You've got to treat it like it's just completely random. What you saw on the right-hand side there, by the way, was a great example of what the dually squelchers are supposed to do. Um, they're supposed to get in a position where they're annoying, but then kite you back into a position where you're being useless and also still not winning. Are you running quick respawn? Because die. Many die. Very splat. I'm also running comeback instead of LDE. I just play very aggressively and I don't want to get punished as hard for it. Just got a question that I missed before it scrolled up. Uh, I'm new. Do you have a few tips? Um, learn motion controls. It will feel bad for three weeks. And you will hate it and you will want to switch. Don't. It's worth it, I promise. Um, don't worry about gear right now. Um, your understanding of the game will change drastically between now and when the gear builds that top players are using will actually make sense to you. Um, like, I burned so many chunks and so much money on getting, like, a crap ton of ink resistance. Like, 2.2 or something of ink resistance in Splatoon 2. Um, and I literally never used that gear again once I hit, like, A rank. Um, because I learned over time, oh, this is not helping me as much as I think it is. Uh, it has diminishing returns, and the returns that it's giving me are not worth that much anyway, and I would be doing better off grabbing something else. Um, so a lot of people talk about gear a lot. They optimize their gear a lot. It is not as a, it's not that important. You're, you're going to be fine just playing with whatever looks good to you for now, and then once you're really interested in diving into it and researching stuff you can uh, have the chunks saved up from before when you didn't know that stuff and you'll be in a better spot. Have any tips for ink management? Ink management is something you do sort of learn a little bit over time. It's just something you start to get better and better at. Like you get this sixth sense, wait, I'm almost out of ink. I've fired for too long without swimming. Um, throwing a bomb is usually a lot of people's problem. They don't realize it because the running out of uh, running out of ink from shooting is what happens, but it happens because they threw a bomb and then shot and were never swimming in between. Throwing bombs is extremely ink inefficient. So, if you throw one, especially if it's like a suction bomb, you know, one of the really um, costly ones, you definitely need to think twice about continuing an engagement for very long. Well, that was fun. Saw one of the players from around the corner. Didn't see the roller. Ooh, our roller won, though. I love it when our roller wins. Usually it's our roller trades. Ooh, yeah, we got Lee. Cool lead. 
of 93. So I was just like, that's gonna hit someone eventually. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, good job staying out of there, Kelly. I like how Kelly has been playing. Unfortunately, they got caught at some point here. Oh, were they trying to go for the tower? Hmm. This time I traded. Next time I will win. That's how this works. I'm leveling up. <clears throat> you really want to prevent that from happening. Oh dear. What we wanted to do is get control of this, but if we did that without controlling our court, we were just going to get flanked. And I ended up in a fight against someone who outranges me, so. Shame on me. Uh, just the roller. And they're trying to get on tower. We need to be preventing this. Okay, that was too close. What is that arrow? Why does it move around the tower? That's so... I don't think they actually move from where they're about to jump, and it looks like they're going to. And that is really deceptive. Can we please enforce this zone? We have a heavy and an explo. We could be aiming at that and preventing that that flank from happening. Because we cannot use this top left area at all. They're they're getting flankers up around. And I'm dead. No I'm not! I leveled up. I forgot, I leveled up. That was all I needed to do. Okay. Who... Whoa, 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 are we getting flanked? Yeah, we are getting flanked. Can you go away? I, I said go away. Yeah. Man, that was laggy. Yeah, it was probably laggy on both ends. That was probably just a trade. Okay. Oh, man, this is scary. That's on me. Should not have been at that angle against something that outranged me. We're doing really well here, though. We can definitely deny them from stopping lead here. Absolutely not. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get this lead. I don't think we get this lead. That's a crab tank. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, there's another one. Does uh, the level up help here? No, it doesn't, because I already took out their teammate. I need to level up some more before I uh, can win the 1v2. That was a lot that was happening. Oh boy. One thing I will say is that it's very hard with this comp. Um, we have double backline, which means our pushing power is not there, and our, we're, our, it's basically our full-time job on the front line to protect from flanks. Um, which means it's a lot harder for us to get into mid and make any progress. Ah, okay. I did not know there was someone here. Darn. That's probably game. There's just back lines left. Yeah, okay. It was close. Gotta get it that. But, uh... In those times where... The tower was pushing through first checkpoint towards us. What we needed to be able to do was put someone on the top left and also have someone from a different angle. And it felt like um, what we need to do here is control the court 
and it felt like we weren't controlling the court when that was the case. Um, that'd probably be something that'd be good to go in VOD review and see if I'm actually right about that, but we do get to S plus 18 off it, so alrighty, progress. Let's get the blaster out. What rank is considered high rank? That depends on who's considering it and what that person considers high. Because high doesn't mean jack. Um, I've, there's, it means a lot more to say you are a higher rank than to say that you are a high rank. High compared to what? Compared to 50% of players? Consider, compared to the players who are capable of beating you? It's, it's like saying good. Like, what does good mean? Good is relative. Good is both relative and also respective of purpose. So. I mean, competitive players at my level are probably lower, probably all going to be able to make it to S plus 50 if they just play often enough. Good being relative. I hope you're doing relatively good. <laughs> angry face. Chibi gives me an angry face while hoping I'm having a good day. And Oh, they fell. Well, that's convenient. It's one less player I have to splat. Uh, I might have given myself away there. Okay. Well, if I had ink... We don't have to push this, we just have to keep them away from the tower. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't kill. Must have hit the uh, good side of the, the wall there. All right. Well, that was a good opening push. We're going to get flanked there. I don't want to jump. Yeah. The only person who made it out of there made it out because they ran away into a position that I wouldn't have been jumping to. So I made the smart decision here. And they made the not safe decision of dropping. And now, here we are. I'm in your base, killing your dudes. Alrighty. Have a nice day! <laughs> Thank you, Limo. I'm back after a game of using roller. Is that what you mean, Splatooner? The 36,482nd Splatooner? That's probably not true. There are a lot of Splatooners. Hope you enjoyed your rollering. Oh, I didn't even notice that Kiki was on my team. Kiki is a member of 20 Pew Pew, which is a quad bamboozler competitive team. Kiki is cracked on the sticks. We like Kiki. He heard me saying nice things about her and left, but this is okay. I think she heard how aggressively we were being friendly to each other and was like, wait, if I'm getting complimented, oh no. A splatooning fork? They must. How else do they prepare their instruments? I 
there. Now I have options. All right, well, we, okay, we got distracted by over there. Um, I don't know. That's probably okay. This is definitely not okay. We didn't need to get out of this. Any part of that. Not a lot of paint on this comp. Oh, please let me up. I was hoping... Germal Liker, nice. I was hoping someone was going to take out the uh, 52 there. I don't think anyone knows that we're getting flanked from mid yet. By the Charger, of all things. Alrighty. Well, that's how well that's going to go. I think we support from over here somehow. And now we jump in and bubbler, bubbler the tower. Jerma Liker, you have good taste, I'm sorry. With sticks? I didn't hear about the sticks part. Wish you well in all your endeavors. Have a good night. Have a good night, Maxaroni. Intensify action. Yes. Yes, intensify action is is pretty mandatory in some capacity for blasters um, because it's so important for them to be able to jump shot effectively. I'm looking up Kiki's Twitter account to see if it says anything about being a sticks player. It just says bamboozler main. I could see it, but I don't know for sure. Ah! Cracked on the stick. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's just a phrase. That's an expression. <laughs> that is a thing people say. But I could see how that would be confusing. Go, my chicken. Fly, my chicken! Oh, that almost got a jump. Yes, booyah the left, booyah the left. No, not there! That's not where the people are. Oh, there's someone flanking from, like, way underneath. There's your... I mean, you don't really need to pay attention to that. We're gonna go for it here. I can't get checked. Oh, I was gonna squid roll backwards off it, but the tri stringer got me. Oh, hi. Okay, neat. From here, we make a really aggressive move because we have time to get up. All right. That should be game. Yeah, against Tri-Stringer and Hydra, being able to poke up over those ledges is nasty. Now, with a double backline comp, there are only so many players that can move forward 
I've already splatted one of them. So they are just not safe to do much. They need to find a, an angle out of there and fast. Is Annie here? Annie was here earlier. Um, she poked her head in uh, at the beginning of the stream. I don't know if she stuck around. That was like four hours ago or something. Good. Again with the word good. <laughs> um, there are some dualies that are very high tier weapons, like Tetras. Dually sculptures are up there. And then some that are really not doing very well right now, like the Dapple Dualies. And head to bed. Head to bed. Thank you for having me on for a few matches. Really appreciate the chance to learn and grow. Love the vids. Keep the great content. Thank you, Ari. And thank you for being here. And you literally have donated more money to the stream now, just from watching, then you actually paid for the VOD review. <laughs> Thank you, I do really appreciate you. And Meowitzer, with just the, the $20 donation. Thank you so much, very kind of you. Also, I love your tag. The tag is phenomenal. Right, we're gonna pop this real quick. Oh, I, I sh my shot was on too. If I just, if he just took a little bit longer, I was gonna get that. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Potato, please notice. Please notice behind you. Behind you. Hit that. There we go. Woo okay. They're just directly above me, huh? Alright. Good push. Got through a checkpoint. Got some pretty good points. We, we do not jump into that. No shot we jump into that. Big spooker. Big scary. Okay. Someone over here somewhere, I think. Okay, I guess not. Maybe they went under the carousel. Oh yeah, they're there. Woo! Good job, Mr. Goodbar. Squid roll. I probably died. Yeah. Screwed up my movement. I could have gotten across that faster and gotten into a better position, but it took too much effort at that point once I missed it to get in range. Oh, crap read them. I should have been trying to read. Like, they have Ninja Squid. 
Unless I can spot the trail. I'm not gonna know. There, I'm not necessarily working to splat the player right away. I'm working to cut off their options because I know my teammates are closing in on them too. So instead of hard committing into an engagement where I need to out-aim them to win, I can just make it the task as impossible for them as I can. What? How did that second shot not hit them? What did they do? I'm not jumping to that player. I'm not sure if they're getting pushed. Okay, they stopped it. Now I can jump to them. I say that right as the rain flash returns up. Okay, nice. What? What are these shots? How are they missing? Did I actually miss that? Like, what happened? Did they... Can you charge up a slash while you're jumping and dash on landing? Is that a thing? Oh, crap. This is actually really bad. Oh, they just lost the tower. Did they drop off and just not... Wow, okay. What do you do to practice your aim? I have an entire video about that, Ru Rufy McDoofy. Um, it's called Learning Motion Controls. It's on my... Uh, it, it's obviously more than just, like, learning them. It's learning how to use them um, effectively. Um, but uh, it, it goes through all of the aim drills that I do for the most part. There are some other variations that you can add on if you're trying to work on specific things, but that's a really good start. Stream froze for me? What's going on? I don't have any drop frames on my end, so... That's unfortunately going to be a connection issue for you, I think. Opinion on Glugadoolies. Um, needs uh, either a faster fire rate or something else going for it because it's just going to keep getting outclassed by things like 52 gal or uh, sloshing machine, whatever it is you're trying to use it for. Doesn't paint enough because of the slow fire rate. And it's really awkward needing to roll to get the two shot. more damage than I wanted to take, but it's okay. We heal those. Nice thing is it moves away from them for the first little bit. Unfortunately, I'm getting crossfired. Thankfully, the roller didn't do anything to finish me off there. We've still got control of that area. So we can still keep making progress here. I wish I could give the big bubbler now. That uh, doesn't stop the hammer, unfortunately. The nice thing is we're not losing the objective. Yeah. Woo! I got lucky there. Here. Oh, 
Amar B. Ya. We had some good aggression there and just weren't quite able to use it to get through check. That goes slightly differently, even with the same KA numbers. I think we can get through the check there, but uh, we're just not finding the, the hammer soon enough to stop it from uh, disrupting the push. So now we push up and we try and get into positions where we can shark them. Good, the hammer's down. Oh wait, there was a second hammer. That might be the one I'm actually worried about. Alright. Checkpoints. Oh, we're so close. I just need to kill that hammer. This doesn't put me on the tower. I need somebody else to get tower for me. Ah. Put it on tower? Yeah, that's good. That's good. We didn't want to put it on the tip top of the tower. That actually made it so that it wasn't going to reach nearly as far. Problem of having a, a spherical weapon. In a largely... Rectangular plane. Good stuff. I'm happy with how this team has been playing overall. It's definitely not a team comp that I would run competitively. Not nearly enough paint on this thing, but we're doing what we need to control space. challenge that I don't think we should probably make. Well, we got one of them. We got two of them. Okay. I stand corrected. I did not want to waste one of my shots on hitting a torpedo. That was a really good torpedo there. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're going to get one chance to stop this. Oh my god. I don't know how we get up there. That might be game. Damn. Oh man. I think that torpedo honestly saved the game. Because like if I get one shot that I can fire onto the tower and hit both of those players, I think they both end up going down before they can ever get the tower to ground level. And that's a weakness of the comp, honestly. Just we don't have great ways of um, maneuvering into a position. Um, we can't, like, slip somebody in there. We're all about, like, zoning. So when we really need to hard push, it's very slow and deliberate. A short range shooter can get onto that tower and then they still have the fire rate that they can splat a bunch of people. Whereas if I fire a shot at all in my attempt to get onto the tower, now I've got this big cooldown time before I can fire another shot. So. 
I can't, like, ideally both get on the tower and splat a bunch of people. I want the, the max range shots to hit the tower to clear it. So while they're still on the tower, even if they're being splatted, it's still going to move a couple points. How often do I go live? Pretty often. Definitely multiple times a week. Every single Tuesday, every single Sunday, and then usually at least a day or two throughout the week. That's not how I wanted that to bounce. Okay, I was up there alone. I didn't really want a teammate to come and help me there. I preferred to just be off angle pressure. Because that is the weak side, I think. That's the side that you don't want to push most of your team through. You're putting someone there to draw their attention to one side so that the rest of your team can have a good fight. We're moving up very fast and covering everything that we need to as we move up very fast. This feels like a whole bunch of players who have competitive experience. Which I would hope I would get up to at some point here. I would hope I would be on some teams that do finally have some competitive experience. The higher up I get in S+. Plus. Okay, so please don't stand right there and just block me. I'm trying to run backwards. Oh my goodness. Goodbye. I want nothing to do with any of that. Man, I did not mean to get up out of the ink. I got spotted for doing it. And I was stuck. Good stop. Oh, I'm so dead. I didn't even realize there was a Booyah in the air. We might lose lead for this. Depends on how we defend, because they do have a checkpoint to get through. That's a good start. I can't even move. Really well played, in fact. I don't know. I don't even know what we do about that. It's again, like... We're getting up into team comps that are actually punishing us for our lack of mobility. What do you think of Bamboozler? Good weapon, doesn't have a great kit yet. I'll stick with the squad. I believe. We can get our fifth game with these folks. With this folk. I've been happy with how good Barry's been playing overall. And who knows, maybe we'll actually get some uh, shooters on this comp now. 
picked up S plus. Congratulations! Good stuff. Alright. Later, Splatooner. Thanks for stopping through. Big Man is the producer. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Hey, Undershirt Man. How's it going? Undershirt Man is also a streamer. Uh, much more of a grinder than I am. Is already uh, S plus 50. Uh, 9,999. They have been playing the video game for sure. Okay, so that's the group. And that's a dead gal. Shoot. I uh, overestimated or underestimated the uh, Triceratops' range there. Didn't think they could get as close to me as they could that quickly. I'll have to bear in mind that that's an angle of approach that's available to them. I thought they would be, like, hiding for some reason, but I don't know why they would want to hide there. They'd want to be, like, right around the corner waiting to jump. When is next stream? Tomorrow. Tomorrow at uh, 2.15 Central Time, which is 3.15 Eastern and noon 15 Pacific. You got that. Yep, you do. And there's still someone behind us, so be careful for that. And we've got a big bubbler around it. I'll jump to this. This is honestly one of the best comps that I can ask for. For tower control in a solo queue. Super happy with the backliner. We've got a Splashomatic, which is some good forward pressure with a shooter. We've got a Junior that's going to paint a lot to compensate for me not painting that much as a blaster. It's also going to provide big bubblers on the tower, which is huge. Where did that shot go? I don't know, but they did not stop me from putting this on tower. That's their mistake. So far, so good. Oh my god. I didn't even hit the first shot. I think I deleted. Not a good start. I'm really worried about this jump. I, yeah, I died to this 100%. Okay, that's my bad. I'm staggering the team right now. Okay, Pace got one. Might be able to stop tower. just going to close distance with me. There was no reason to expect that that was going to save me, but you know what? If they feel confident being there, I feel confident jumping to them. I should not have felt confident. Uh, couldn't tell where those missiles were from.
Nice. Good work from Pace. That only splats because Pace was there. Well, that was an accidental shot, but we'll take it. That was... That was just kind of silly. <laughs> point range blaster... Point blank range blaster is uh, a silly thing. I thought they were going to back up after I hit them once. They ended up just uh, going aggro again. I like the patience. And now we go. Let's go. All right. Let's see where that ticket puts us. That was a full ticket, five and two. Max points there. All right. Should definitely get it on the next one. Awesome. All right. Well, that's some good progress, but uh, I am going to sign off for the night. I'm gonna go and find a raid target on Twitch. Um, looks like we're going and uh, raiding Amy. Uh, Amy is an Australian Battle Junior player, uh, plays a very aggressive Splattershot Junior on a competitive team, um, and is also very friendly and nice, and I like them. And they're Australian, so they're still awake, and that's also an advantage. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm going to put my links in the chat really quickly. I am a full-time content creator. I make a whole bunch of tutorial content about the game on YouTube. Uh, like I've been mentioning, a lot of a lot of the questions that have been asked in chat, I've already made videos answering, so <laughs> might want to check that out if uh, you have those kinds of questions. But uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody, and uh, I will see you tomorrow on Silly Comp Sundays. Um, Silly Comp Sundays is a stream where... We poll all of my Patreon supporters and all of my YouTube members on what silly comps you want us to play. And we will try to play them competitively as well as we possibly can. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's 3.15 Eastern tomorrow. I'm going to click the Start Raid button before it automatically sends us over. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night. Oh, wait. Never mind. There's still a countdown. Um... Silly Comp Sundays. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, I stalled I stalled really well, didn't I? I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Good job. Good job, Jim. All right. Goodbye.